So, ah. before we continue our delve here, of course, I get a Paizo for sponsoring the Two Perception Show here on their channel with his games, Adventure Path, everything. A wonderful box that I believe I'm going to receive here in the next couple days pertaining to what we'll be doing after this final chapter we'll be playing here of the Age of Ashes. Uh, we will talk about that soon. Yeah. Hashtag. It's going to be neat. It's going to be neat. Fancy. I'm excited, but we'll get to that. And <laughs> thank you to our other partners, Norse Foundry and the giant heap of dice of significant weight that grace our table. We have enough they're dice having, to like, equal me in body weight. By the way, guys, they're having the sickest Black Friday sale oh, yeah, right Sony's now. Actually got it's 30% off everything. Giga Chad Black Friday sale. I'm pretty sure that does not stack with our discount it code, but like it's 30% off of everything on the site. It's still pretty so dope. That's, Go for it. If, you, if you've been <clears throat> thinking about the dice, now would be the time. And I tell you that knowing full well, you can't even use our discount code to like kick it back to us at all. It's still worth it. 30% off is a massive chunk. Mm -hmm. You could have your very That's own almost Malachi a third. D20. We're no, gonna have you a whole can't. bunch of Sirenscape shenanigans today in the background as we always do with some uh, events that will probably unfold oh, over geez. the course of today's adventure. It's mildly ominous. And uh, the immersive sound sets here honestly have been one of the least anticipated improvements that I've found over the years. It's not something I would have ever thought of had I not been directed to the fact that they exist. Man, it's actually super neat, really. It's super neat. Sound effects. And finally, we have partnered with the provider of our virtual tabletop, Arkin Forge here. Code 2 per -er, on their website gets you $5 off of fantasy and sci-fi essentials bundles. Using your map creation software as your virtual tabletop is a huge benefit to messing with stuff on the fly. But also, even if you don't, play virtually it's just pretty solidly good map creation software yeah. it's incredibly versatile i do not nearly have the artistic capabilities to do it justice also since we're playing this i largely have maps already but some of their video tutorials that demonstrate the stuff you can do on there are insane even i understand resume loopy caster is a hero point for you and like a paragraph and a half of text nani I'm going to pass this. That's really all that I need. I see, take this and be safe. I'm looking at the bottom. Wait. How do you Over define nice. safe? Over-exaggerate. So. Oh, uh, you got bopped by the auto. Yeah, mod. you can't You can't post any links in the Paizo chat, unfortunately. I didn't. Uh, not, not you. you. Oh. you okay. Why would you be typing in Paizo? I don't know. You just looked at me, and I was like, I didn't do it. Nobody looked at you. Everyone looked at me. <laughs> you just immediately got defensive. <laughs> I think she feels You can't do that. What do you mean? No, I'm not talking. It's you. always her fault. Uh, it's always her fault. But she's guilty for something. And Roisin <laughs> from Jaded Tempest. Aww. Her sass brings such joy to my heart. Oh, <laughs> she joy went to Magical to Girl High well. School, and ever since she went to Magical Anime Girl High School. Love it. Just an absolute sass. She Lord. can be, yes, indeed. She it's is just savage now. Particularly when wounded. So in the last few weeks, as we've moved on Katapesh, the city that hosts the Scarlet Triad and their main citadel of operations, we have undermined them in a great variety of ways. Now, finally, coming to hopefully end their machinations once and for all out of the Red Pyramid itself, an ancient structure that has existed for millennia before the city of Katapesh stood. We are deep, deep, deep. We took the elevator. In the undercrafts beneath this pyramid now and have faced a wide assortment of triad assets, myriad piles of demons. Golems. And an assortment of ancient defenses built into the pyramid itself. That Whose fault is that? And also, for a minute, a rock thrown by Raz. What? What? No, no. Nonsense. Hey, but you got the looted. I did. I got to loot all of those nice chocolate coins they that were in there. They weren't chocolate. They were ceramic. Oh they used God. to be chocolate, but they petrified. Oh. <laughs> it was like Hanukkah for a minute. That's exactly right. So but they kept all their guilt. That's why it was so well protected. As we had left off, the group of you had come down yet another set of stairs behind yet another secret door in the labyrinthine tunnels of this pyramid to find a spectacularly well-appointed waiting room. Uh, several overstuffed, soft upholstered chairs 
uh, in somewhat muted colors, parked around some wide tables, uh, stretching most of the area across the room, lush carpets spanning the floors, and uh, a little more colorful tapestries and portraiture among the walls. All of it clearly uh, has been brought in. This is obviously modern, and they didn't have a whole... Like, this isn't the Ikea section of the Red Pyramid from 2,000 years ago. <laughs> Liar. Where they have all of their fancy furniture displays. This is something the Triad has clearly put a large amount of money and effort into establishing. Please tell me that, like, there's, like, two people on the side playing, like, a harp and, like, a musical there instrument or something. There are two something. people on the side. If you have an extremely generous definition of people, um, that... One of which is set largely subsuming an entire couch with his figure near the eastern wall. And another one sort of almost crouched down in what looks at first like an awkward pose, just sort of looming over the room. Both of them near filling this chamber from floor to ceiling. Mm -hmm. uh, very much at odds with the warm glow of the torchlight and the inviting atmosphere this room really projects as they are... Horrific anglerfish demons, more or less, <laughs> that look like they easily stand 10 to 12 feet tall with pale blue flesh, uh, very almost distended, lanky limbs at awkward angles in their body, uh, and their heads looking almost like whole, near skinless anglerfish, anglerfish with these just rigid, thin, bony jaws masses of blue tentacles emanating out from the back of their head and between their shoulders. Uh, their attention having, of course, turned towards the party as you make your way down the staircase into the chamber here. One of them even recognized you from the party. Our buddy. Yeah, that's my friend. And uh, you... It's like powder blue or like cerulean blue? Would have heard... It's kind of like a pale... Almost like a pale sky blue. Okay. Like it's sort of, it's fairly deep. Maybe like oceanic, perhaps. Hmm. Uh, but, Braz and Resme still on the stairs, as I imagine Roisin and Marshall entering the room here, neither mm. of you having seen these before. Yeah. <laughs> probably immediately on your guard. And Slightly concerning. Lurking as he is wont to do. Uh, you would perhaps be surprised that neither of them lunge to attack or make any real immediate motions, rather than just to kind of turn to look to you. And you hear voices inside your heads. Hmm. I was unaware that the Triad was hosting further business this eve. Well, we weren't on the agenda. For uh. the sake of safety, I'm going to mark the closest one <laughs> to me for death. Yeah, not the one who kind of sort of, sort of looming just, more the middle of the room. Just scoot a little closer and up towards the wall so I, he's within my reach, just in case. You can see that on the northern end of the room here, there are a pair of wooden doors that seem to be of much finer craft and fanciful make, uh, fitted well into their frames, uh, sailing in the warmth of this chamber that lead further out into the complex. But uh, both lay closed, and the only immediate entrance visible is the staircase and the doorway at the base of it you'd come through. Uh, in my head, uh, we have uh, nothing against you and mean you no harm uh, whatsoever. Are you coming into the room? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to be yeah, we're the coming room, to the room. up against the back wall, making room for yep. everyone else. And you would hear the same thing I did. You would hear... A uh, second, uh, almost similar, but uh, markedly not identical, rumbling voice followed through as well. Hmm, brother, you recognize these folk? They look not of the triad to me. I don't, I'm unrecognizable and strange. Well, we certainly are strange, but we are definitely yeah. not related to the triad. I recognize that one. The first one that sat on the couch, turns his head towards the other that Trishika sort of crept a little closer to. Just sort of nods. Unrecognizable. Anything but. I met at least a pair of them at the ill-fated auction some moons ago, here as this world counts. Hmm. Given that you haven't immediately lunged for our throats, I take it that you're not actually under the bindings of the triad like all the other... Uh, side slider for the brush. You can make it bigger. You don't have to do it a square at a time with black in and out. Yeah, <laughs> but he enjoys it I want to save so. you some challenge. No, no. Having anyway. Fun. Having fun. You don't seem like you're, uh, you're actually, you've been bound to service here then in that case. 
bound I don't think they're bound. by she... these mortals. I, I, it I, seems I, to be a rather frequent occurrence, no, I must no, say. I don't, I don't think they're mm. like, I don't think that's them. Do you take us for fools? No, 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 not at all. The you are... triad flees this city and perhaps this world with tail betwixt their legs. And knowing of their stock, there is perhaps inventory they wish to see liquidated. Oh, is that so? <laughs> and the one at the, at the front turns uh, towards Rasheen as well. And this sort of nods his head. Neither of their mouths move as these voices can just kind of emanate within your skulls here. What's the point of having big anglerfish mouths if you're not going to use them? We are certainly not above assistance if necessary, especially in such situations beneficial to equal to both parties. If that fool Treagle has powerful souls he wishes to release... We will see them well received. Um, what of you? What do I know about this? I'm going to let uh, Resme and Raz start talking here, and I'm just going to study these things. Uh, make me a religion check, good sir. You want me to make it? Oh, you can critically fail, right? You're, I'm just so used to Resme. <laughs> who can also critically fail on creatures, by the way, unless you have something I've never seen before. No, I don't. Okay. I just keep thinking of Resme and no, items. No, items only. Like, in, inanimate objects yeah. only. What is your religion modifier? It is a 31, and I am legendary. Solid. Uh, you would I mean, certainly recognize the pair of these for what they are. They are astrid daemons. Astrid daemons, mm -hmm. not demons. Uh, these are... Some of, uh, I would say, certainly the rarer breed of abyssal or hellish creatures that appear upon the material plane. And many of the race of daemons are not really want to travel to this plane unnecessarily and don't terribly often. They are the neutral that stands between the law of the devils and the chaos of the demons. Um, and they largely exist in a much looser organization. Whereas devils have a tightly wound and organized society where each has their rank and their purpose and demons are demoning, mm. uh, largely just a swirling mass devoted to their various dark gods. Demons of each race or even each individual work a lot more often just kind of to their own ends. They are much less of a universal mass than devils or demons and are uh, very frequently much more self-serving. Uh, Astro demons specifically would be potent purveyors of souls themselves. Mm. To many outside the material plane, the river of souls that ferries lives to and fro from the boneyard as the cycle works its magic throughout the plains is a very tempting and lucrative opportunity. Uh, there are many throughout the worlds and the plains who have great interest in them for magical need, uh, sustenance, or a wide variety of other things. And astrodamons are among the most effective harvesters and purveyors of souls that there are. Hmm. They are believed hmm. to subsist near entirely on soul energy themselves having no need nor interest in uh, consuming any actual physical matter and instead feasting on the raw energy that is, was, or will be a living thing. Huh. Of course, they they're are, here in the city where, you know, they power their police force with, with soul, soul robots. robots. Hmm, it was a coincidence, surely. Mm. <laughs> but mm. uh, you would know that being daemons... They do still, uh, Daemons of the Abyss do still share some biological aspects uh, with many of their kin. Uh, they are weak to good energy. They are still very evil creatures, although they are neutral evil, very much evil. Um, but unlike devils or daemons, have no particular weakness to alchemical metals like silver or anything like that. Um, they are also such masters of the river of souls and even really what would be the mortal concept of death that they themselves are wholly immune to negative energy or any kind of death effect. Hmm. 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 Um, Roshin is, I'm just gonna stay quiet. I'm gonna let Resman Raz do the talking. 
I she does not like these things. These are basically just they're not very likable things. They're not very likable things. I they're see. basically just like slavers, the slavers of the demon realms. They are <laughs> Functionally, a dramatically worse slaver exactly. would be a solid way to and, think. And Roshin is just going to be like, you know, if we have to fight these things, she will gleefully join in. But Roshin. in the meantime, it's to be like one at a time, one slaver at a time. I see Roshin bristle a little bit. Yeah, Roshin is like noticeably tensing as she stares at these things, and it's just going to be quiet. Uh, as I said, uh, we don't mean to interrupt your business, and we mean you no specific harm or enmity. Uh, if you want to go about your business, we certainly won't interfere, so long as you don't interfere in ours. And you see both of their mouths kind of just, like, open a little bit, and the two Astro Damon look at each other. Their faces are not exactly expressive, the bony visages of anglerfish. There that aren't is... really movable parts uh, beyond their jaws, but they open a slight amount of look toward each other. That is mildly disconcerting before uh, they turn now to focus their attention towards Resme. And you hear the voice of the initial one on the couch. That you think mortals such as yourself would have any sway in how we commit our activities is amusing, at least. But admittedly, you possess strangely potent souls for mortals. Those akin with the leadership of this very own triad. Uh, it's, uh, well, a lot of herbs and, and creams, uh, and some really, really, you know, good old fashioned sunshine and, you know, not. You are the leader of this group, I take it then. Um. Well, your uh, dwarven friend and the strange rats, if you are looking to sell, have certainly piqued our interest. Unfortunately, uh, although... And this would be to yeah. just you two hearing mm -hmm. this. This would not be something that Rez and... Rez and Marshall are just kind of standing here. <laughs> Marshall... Because they can see, like, their attention. You can hear, like, Resume's talking. You can hear Resume say things and Roshin say things. Like, there's clearly something happening, but Marshall... you two don't hear any of this. <laughs> Marshall's just kind of gripping his axe a little nervous, Tuning. like... What's just going making on? sure everything works fine with the trumpet. Do, do, do I smash or not smash? I don't know. Rasheen's just grinding uh, her teeth. I'm gonna... What are you doing, Rez, as you're uh, waiting here? I'm watching them just <laughs> every now and then. So, um, are they going to eat us or no? Uh, a moment, Raz. They're going to uh, eat us in a moment? At that, the eastern door on the far side of the chamber would actually open. You'd first hear the rattling as the uh, metal knob is turned and then a slight squeak as the door itself is swung open and the attention of both of the Astro Demons, I imagine the party is directed that way as you see a single blonde figure in the oh doorway, clad as you had seen her earlier this day as Miravel opens the door in uh, looking first to the obvious Astro Demons here. They are the huge focus. Uh, a s pleasant smile upon her face before she turns to see, well, the rest of you, <laughs> minus Trishik, obviously. How many drugs do you have to take to have a pleasant smile looking at those things? Customer service. Customer service smile. Customer service smile. Yeah. yeah, customer service face. We're experts. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh... She just sort of looks over the party and her gaze, of course, falls on Rez here. Should we take a number? And then she turns and looks back towards the Astro Demons and, and shakes her head. No. No, they have no business with us. Nothing opposite, if anything. They fought their way here with Fang and Claw, I imagine. But you mean them or, them or us? Oh, like she they, means us. They? She means us. Oh. Soaked in blood. I'm not. No, I'm not. I, I Sorry. Mean, she is. Most of it's mine. A lot of it's machines, actually. No. Yeah. Do as you please. And uh, steps back and closes the door, uh, shaking her head. She can oh. smell blood. That's a little weird. As the two Astro Demons just kind of turn back towards the group of you. Smack time. Oh, so do we operate at their beck and call? No, but we have been uh, amicable. With that fool Trigal's business, and have no interest in offending him. 
But if you are no guests of his and you're not willing to sell. And goes to stand from his couch. It seems obvious now with whom the fault lays for our failed transactions earlier this month. <laughs> yeah. We did have it right in it. <laughs> oh, well, boy. I thank you for making it simple enough to collect our due. And the pair of them move in large, almost swooping strides up. Get a car! I'm gonna need some initiative, everybody. Battle cry. Um, you were not performing that, did you? Yes. <laughs> that is not your exploration activity. You weren't uh, performing you a your cantrip. I am going to. You were doing little frightened toots in the corner. Uh, yeah, that was that. That was. It's was not, not, not dirge of doom. I'm going to redeem <laughs> this hero, hero point for my danger. initiative roll because the two is not good. Yes, you just Fair enough. You gotta commit if you're doing Watch dirge of doom. Status bonus. Rolled I'm always uh, committed. Rolled into 19. Arms. Oh, okay. Not like sad little. <laughs> What's the bonus from all arms? Plus four. Also, okay. Plus one bonus from scouting. Question. Uh, should be yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So plus five total. So. Eight, nine, ten, I'll plus ten. Resume. Oh, I can you roll. Do, you do a thing. Uh, that's going to be a fifty-one. Nineteen. Uh, no, but I have plus ten because every. Explain how. Uh, status bonus. Of four. Circumstance of one. Circumstance, item from Drake Hart. Drake Drake plus plus five to initiative. That's I probably not five. Promise you, Drake Hart does it's not give you three. five. Initiative. Oh, and that's right. Reasonable. Uh, so that's and right. Drake Hart's improved initiative. That's no, I don't have that. Okay, no, it's just so plus eight. So forty nine. So forty nine. I was like, there is no universe you have plus ten to initiative. <laughs> that's not physically possible. Sorry, I stacked Roshin. the eye of the wise. Forty seven. Uh, forty nine, forty seven. Res. Forty eight. Split the forty nine and the forty seven. Put the red in, not backwards. Marshall. Forty four. Very tight here. Trishik? Would you like to go first or me? Uh, why don't you let me go first so I can be a nice big distraction and get up in there? Sure. I like it. Okay, so I'm I like also this. 47. Uh, fair enough. And then we have the daemon that is a little closer to you. Uh, coming in with a 46. Hey, this would you look at that? Very tightly compacted uh, <laughs> initiative. <laughs> And the uh, second of the daemons with a 49, which puts him here on That's the draw. That's perfectly That funny. is the most. There's a 44 yeah. to 49. Still, wow. Every single wow. person. Are you sure that you only got a 44? You rolled a 19. Yeah, plus one from scouting, and I have a 24 perception, so 44. You should be 49 because you got a plus five or plus four. So you're oh, also so up I'm here. Four, Do you so want to go before okay. or after so you, Yeah, uh, you want to go. My apologies. I didn't know I got that bonus. Um, Resume, do you want to go first or do you want me to go Doesn't first? Doesn't matter. I was like, uh, materially to what I want to do. Uh, Marshall should go first. That's fine. Marshall okay, I'll go first. first. Okay, and also, Battle Cry, I'm going to get the really one closest. Um, and then give me Battle Cry, and which one are you yelling at? Uh, the one closest to okay. two of the stairs. And I've got Battle Cry and the one behind. Okay. Didn't you already use the reaction on an issue? Uh, Can you use your spell? Isn't Battle Cry a battle part of initiative? Uh, battle Cry is not a reaction. It is a free action. Oh, fair enough. Oh, free. nice. Uh, I got a 38. Um, 38 will succeed. Yeah, he feared one. Uh, uh, you are powerful souls. He's a little, a little frightened. Oh, wow, this might hurt Prowess? a little bit. Physical menace? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're in the room with him. You can, you can try and physically menace. All right, perfect. Uh, 50. <laughs> also succeed. I've always um, thought you were a menace. Okie dokie. So the one in the back is the first to act here. Hmm. A lot of stuff going on in this room. He's a hungry boy. What flavor of hungry is he particularly interested in, though? There's Not so rat many. flavor. If he so used perception, he, he did use perception. Me. He does see you, um, and you would see his gaze roll across the room as he sees. There's a lot going on here. He is going to stride up towards Rasheen, uh, sort of almost just flowing through the room, striking out with a truly uh, surprising burst of speed and a single motion moving and uh, reaching out 
extending himself forward almost on all fours, that angler fish head snapping past Roisin towards Resmay. Uh, Nimble dodge. You don't no, have I a don't have a reaction yet. yet. Yeah. Reaction yet. This, it, is a, this is go time. Yep, none of us have reactions. He is frightened too. What are reactions? From battle cry. Um, so that's going to be a 50 to hit. Uh, that is going to be... I think that's yeah, that, yeah, that's, that's a crit. Planet that doesn't crit <laughs> yeah. <you. laughs> oh, if anything, that'd be exactly a critical. You dropped it's the thing. Where is my AC? That's why I have What's lots of me today? It's in the pile of props. Yeah, if you have Drake Hart, your AC should be 39, I think. You are good Maybe aligned. 38. Oh. 39. Okay. That's right, you're good. It's 38. So as he snaps at you. With nimble dodge, it wouldn't have been. You're not able dodging. I know. I'm just oh. yeah. um, as he snaps at you, you are going to take 32 points of damage, most of which is piercing, uh, but you feel as he bites uh, that it's not just his jaws, not just his teeth rending your flesh that's happening here. Uh, some of that is evil damage as well, as uh, just his very bite here rips at your soul. Ouch. Additionally, you take uh, nine more points of negative damage. And as he bites into Resme, you kind of see the the redder parts of him. The center of his chest is a bit orange. Uh, The top of his brow, his hands start to glow almost a bit more yellow as a vitality seems to surge through him. I need you to make me a fortitude save. He gets frightened too, so that DC is slightly lower as well. Frightened is such a good condition. Just the I'm weekly great. reminder. I'm gonna t- give you that there hero point as a uh, resume sends off a prayer in Elvish to Alceta to protect her uh, from these demons from another realm, and she's going to go psych herself up again. That is much better. Uh, that's gonna be a 39. 39 will succeed. Uh, but you feel, again, you feel this really pull at much more than uh, just your form here. And as he snakes his neck uh, by there, he is going to pull Resme up next to Roshi. And as she is clamped in this anglerfish mouth, you are grabbed as well. No worries. Marshall. Oh, oh this is a, uh, quite the predicament. Um, That's a big word for Marshall. <laughs> I'm proud, of you. I'm proud of you, Marshall. Four syllables. Four well, syllables. Uh, I'm going to do what I do best. I'm going to get very, very angry. So I'm going to rage. Get my temp HP going. Oh, everyone, and, you have nine temp HP. Everyone has nine temp HP. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. And then, uh, so Resume is technically in that square. Even though There's she's no square. technically. She's, yeah. she's where she is on the map. Okay. Just making sure. Um, can I sudden charge the other one? Even though it's at a weird angle, sudden charge doesn't have to be a straight line. Yeah, you can sudden charge okay. like anything. I will sudden do, charge yeah. that it's way. It's just true. Sudden charge is just strides. strides right? Yeah. Yeah. So you. Uh, I just wanted to make sure. Yeah, two rushing into the room, towards uh, which one are you swinging? The one that has a resume. Or the other one. Um, I'm gonna take the one that has a resume because it is enough. Flat-footed for grabbing. Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. And I'm like. Uh, flat-footed, frightened. Put one. the last yep. down. Forty. Forty will hit. That's Bonk. what I want to hear. Now, as you take your X and swing what seems to be a pretty decisive blow here, roll me a d20. A d20? Mm-hmm. Uh, I rolled an 8. Uh, as you swing your X, visibly looks like it cleaves right through the neck of this thing where it's biting at Resume. Uh, but its movements, as they come strange and fluid as it rushes up through the room, the head of your X, even as you swing it, seems to sort of warp and distend. That's going to miss. Huh. Interesting. Marshall's not happy. What? He double rages. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Resume. Uh, Marshall is confused. Marshall hits It looked on. like that was a perfect swing. It should have connected, but you just hit nothing but floor as it came down. Was that concealment or it something? It was concealment. Swanky? Okay. Uh, wonderful. Okay. Solid. Fitty, fitty. Um, so... Let's talk about blood magic, blood component <laughs> substitution here for a minute. Okay. It lets me 
remove the somatic component, which means I don't have to move around a ton. I just have to talk. Okay. You can take damage to get rid of your manipulate part of then your yes, spell. Yes, you wouldn't have the, uh, so the flat check, right? So I can cast. Yeah, you can punch yourself in the face to not have to make the flat check exactly. Okay. It's way better bleeding. to take yeah. your level to damage. Oh, yeah, than it is absolutely. To get a hit. Mm -hmm. Um. So uh, Resme will look at him and go, well, it's been nice, but uh, bye. And uh, she will uh, dimension door uh, back out uh, behind the uh, the doorway so that they can't see me anymore. Okay. And um, I will take. No. So you're looking just a little around the corner, or are you going like way up the stairs? Um, the stairs are probably like a. No, I, wait, stairs. just a little bit around just the corner is fine. Just out of line of sight. There you Fair go. Enough. Right there. Right there is great. And I will take that eight damage, and I will like it. And then I'm gonna shield. Just isn't from... that your level? Twice my level. No, twice the level the of the spell. spell. Oh, okay, fair enough. Eight damage, and then you throw up a shield. It's not meta magic for an action. All right. No. no. Well, component of substitution actually just happens. No, yeah, it just not, happens. It doesn't take extra action. Well, the cost, it hurts the cost is the damage. Because it doesn't do anything different with the magic. It's it just, just a makes part it of who usable. I am. That's Rez. Cool. All right, all right, team. All right, squad. All right, fam. Um, <laughs> that was, that was Whoa! You um, cannot just call me fam. <laughs> we gotta. Keep focused, because Marshall missed. Um, you're doing great, Marshall. I'm gonna shoulder. give me an R, give me a U, give me um, an N. Away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Just see Raz with little pom poms. Nice. All right. Uh. So I'm going to harmonious. I'm gonna cast harmoniously, inspire courage, first off, and then I'm gonna look at uh, Marshall. He's like Roshin. I told you this a lot, but when you swing, you swing very low, very, very slow. You need to speed that up a little bit. Go, go a little bit faster. Dot, 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 dot. Allegro. Right. Dot, 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 dot. Dot, 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 dot. Oh, Roshin. <laughs> Let's see that. Dot, 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 dot. Drum roll, that. please. Dot, 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 dot. Allegro. All righty. Uh, so it's a strike, stride, or step. What a yeah. great, great Allegro. This guy's uh, jaw snaps shut as Resume teleports out from his grasp, and he uh, turns his gaze your direction, readying a claw. Yup. Um, so the um, first thing, um, uh, she's, uh, violet flames are going to kind of course in Resume in, uh, in uh, Roshin's hand, um, and uh, a little blossom behind them, uh, catching both of them in a uh, tin of she. And does that have a somatic component? It sure there? does. As you start your incantation. Reflexive shield. Incantation <laughs> and sort of focus on your spell here. As this claw comes down, you snap the shield up in front of you uh, defensively. He was only frightened one now. 42 against your fortitude DC. Fortitude DC. What? <laughs> 42 against fortitude DC? What? Yeah. What shenanigans is this? All right. Well, uh, that's uh, my 42 DCs are 37, so that's a normal success. Grab of opportunity. Grab of opportunity. Snatch. As you go to cast, this now uh, his uh, readied claw comes down, and as your arm goes to encant the spell, he wraps his fingers somehow strangely soft, almost moist fish flesh that <laughs> Ew, then clamps don't say moist. down around oh. you, throwing off the incant motions of your spell and disrupting it. Automatic disruption on a success. I actually think fighters can do like 11. Huh. You have one action left. You know what? I fought goo. Yeah. I fought slimes left. in the other room. This oh, isn't yeah, as like goo it. as you think it is. Um, it's not. No, it's pretty solid once it's got a hold of you. <laughs> All part of my plan. It's grabbed now. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. Bring that sword down on it. Pretty good. Uh, it's, uh, I got him distracted, lads. <laughs> <laughs> I've got him. Uh, that's going to be a uh, 43. Make me a consumer check. 10. And as you go to swing again, your sword passing even through the arm that Wait. is grabbing you. Even as you look at it, it seems to sort of warp and distort, flickering in the light. As if somehow it's uh, what you're perceiving about this creature just isn't accurate. That's going to miss. Huh. Mm. All right. Well, I'm going to swing it again. Let's, <laughs> <laughs> let's do it again. Uh, it's a six on the die, minus five. I'm not going to hit anything. It's your chic. I got some claws. You got some claws. Concealment first. 
because I'm going to Who are you assassinate. Swinging at? Are you, so you're trying to assassinate the one that has no one swung at you. The marked target. The one that looks like a lobster, yeah. yeah. Uh, there's only one Astro Demon token in the Bestiary Pun box, so the other one is a Chul who's close enough. So this is why we do concealment first. Fair enough. That is an 11. 11's the DC. Ha! So as you swing your claw down, you have focused and marked the sky for target. He's really just kind of positioned himself. He hasn't really moved yet. You've studied how Rasheen and Marshall have swung at this. And as far as you can tell, this isn't, I mean, you're not a wizard, but this doesn't appear to be a trick of magic. And if it is, it's an incredibly potent one. It just looks like something about their biology, something about their, their form warps light. Uh, as if like the traditional laws of physics on this plane don't even apply to them as they should. You count for that, you just swing. For a 41 against his Frightened flat footed. 41 will hit his frightened flat footed. Nice. So then he makes a fortitude mm -hmm. save. They are immune to death effects. Yeah. You could do he a can't, ton of damage. Yeah, he can still fail. Oop, come to me. 45. He takes 3d6. So that is still free damage. Free damage is free damage. And man. a hit. It's probably better that's there than on hitting so, you. So, I mean... That's nine take it as a dub, that he really. takes from the assassinate. And then he just takes a hit. Nine. Let's keep that. Four, eight, 14, 23, 5, 8, 10, 30, 42. So, 51. So, 51 total. A solid slash to this other one very much gets his attention. And then, it's hard to tell where I am because of all the things that are in the way of me and my, my icon. What do you <laughs> what do you want to know? I was going to see if I could skirmish strike and move five feet back. You can. Looks there, like is, there is five feet behind you. You can sneak back into the corner. Yeah, so, or you can fit yourself back in the corner. Marshall is in the way, but there is also similarly room the Astro Demon could follow you around uh, yeah. above Marshall. Well, the point is he has to but follow you. But he has to follow you, right. So I will... Perfect distraction. Yeah. In one action? It's one action. Fair enough. And I will sneak behind him. Okay. Like up on up against the wall. Uh, you definitely need to... There's not room for that. You'd have to tumble through, which is a separate action, um, because you are too large to easily fit behind him in this room. You'd need, you would need a separate action to tumble through. Yeah. I'll perfect distraction over between everyone then. Okay. There's so it looks like I'm there. still there. Fair enough. And um, I just I become undetected, and there's a clone there that looks like me. Okay. Luckily, that does not require rolls. The mislead just makes right, me just undetected. You are invisible and you move. Not invisible, um, just undetected. Which for oh, me, oh yeah, not actually invisible. Yeah. For me, it's undetected. basically the same thing. So this uh, first of the ones that you had met at the, some of you had met in large quotes at the gala, has got a hold of Roshin here. You are much like the leader of this triad. Foolish mortals who believe themselves wise. And I hear that's an awful lot. His jaw just kind of falls, opening his mouth wide, and he doesn't like bite you. He almost raises his head a bit up on his neck to angle his throat a little better, sort of like a little towards your face as you swing at him. Make me a fortitude save. Like bad breath, maybe? He had onions for breakfast. He did have onions for breakfast. That's a 10, uh, going to a 36. Is this a provoked action? It is not, no. And he's okay. frightened one. Yeah, frightened one makes that exactly the DC. Oof. Um, and all of you see, as he does this, almost a pull and like a spectral, almost a phantasmal image of Roshin pulling out of her face, almost pulling to detach from her body. I'm a few inches out, and you feel a, an extreme pain at that Ugh. before it snaps back in. You're not the first one to try that. 
And then he goes to bite you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like what's uh -huh, armor. armor. <laughs> uh, reaction, uh, re-roll it. Roll twice okay. and pick the lowest. Thank you. Very useful. It's going to be the nine instead of the 14. Um, 42. Uh, 42 is a normal hit. Alrighty. It's not a great I you may have, yeah. Uh, shield block. Okay. You are not good aligned. I am not. You are not? Okay. If he'd stuck around in Breach Hill and it had time to kind of <laughs> put down roots, maybe, but we had to rush right out. 17 points of piercing damage, no evil, another 8 of negative. Okay. And I need a fortitude save. 17, 8, 25, minus 15. It's two different. It triggers a different ability that has more dice that's not listed in here. So I'm, I, I will roll them together if I remember. But I'm like this and then that. Oh, that's also just more damage and then a save. Because okay. the save doesn't change the damage. Cool. So none of the things you told me changes my math. So no. 25 minus hardness is 10 minus temp HP. I take one health of damage. Thank you. Call to arms. Seek. And then a fortitude save. And then a fortitude he's gonna, save. He's going to steal the shield soul. <laughs> no, not my. A core goes out. <laughs> no. The light fades. Fortitude save. All right. Uh, we're looking at a 30. Uh, 34. 44. Oh, 44 is solid. Uh, no problems whatsoever. And then he sees. Aside from the obvious. Uh, through this. As he bites at you, this incredibly long, strange, uh, whip-like tail that just seems to sort of drift around behind him. Uh, it, it's been largely just meandering, almost at random so far. Coils itself up and snakes and shoots around past to snap towards Rez. 15 feet away? 15 feet away. I mean, they're that large. Man. Tail long. You tail can long. Stop they got that, pretty sir. big tails. Does he get... Soft cover. He does get soft cover, so you get plus one to your AC because there is a Trashik in the way. Whether he knows it or not, he's going to bump it. Um, 39 with the minus five. Is that going to attack? My AC is 39. Is Are you AC good, little red? Is your AC? No, 30, 40. 40? Because of because your own buff. Because of my own buff. Courage. You did defense? Uh, no. That says courage. That's the courage, courage card. Oh. It's courage card. Yeah. I thought you did the two for one. Did, yeah, courage yeah. and allegro. Okay. Yeah. Oh. No, no. 39. All right. 39. Oh. Are you a good little rat? Hmm. You're not a good little rat. No, are you? he's a little very rat. neutral rat. He's a very. Uh, there's only one person who's grumpy. Little, aggressive there's only one person who's good. a little bloodthirsty. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm not in the room anymore. The tail's going to crack you for 34 points of bludgeoning damage. Ow. Uh, smashing through Rez, uh, striking much harder than you've seen these creatures do so far. And an additional 17 points of negative damage. I need a forward save. Oh, boy. And oh. Raz dies. And Raz is dead. Um, 29. Uh, 29. Ooh. As it cracks at Rez, oh you see this strike, and it throws him back into the wall here, uh, dropping a painting off of the wall behind him as it shatters in the glass in the front of the ground from the frame. Uh, but as Raz recovers from this, his outline, his silhouette, seems to waver a bit. Kind of like what had happened with a Rasheen, where you'd seen almost a spectral version of herself. There is a disassociation, a physical one, happening that's visibly starting to occur with Raz. It's making him almost look like he's obscured behind a heat haze. Hmm. You are drained one, you lose 17 more health, and you are doomed one. Ooh. Oh, watch me. Um, as he did not maintain his grip, he does let Roshin grow. Roshin go. <laughs> Roshin, you grew. And uh, <laughs> growls I'm out. I'm free. I'm free. As on the all of your heads. Yeah, perhaps I have become soft. It's been some time since I've worked for my souls, but I will have them. Um, the other one uh, is immediately going to lose its interest in the uh, clone that Trishik is. It, it's... Is it a magical thing that you drop, or is it like a disguise at all? The, the clone. It's as mislead, it's right? It's as mislead, but it, Does I'm the pretty sure it's mundane because there's no traits. Then, okay, then he would look at that, um, and he would certainly... Like, it's a physical puppet, is my assumption. This guy's got some serious Mortal Kombat energy. He would swipe towards it, um, which gives him just an automatic disbelief, right? If he hits... 
Because he's attacking me. Doesn't, he's attacking the mislead dummy. It doesn't have AC, does it? I have the mislead card. All right, I'll look I, real quick. I gave it unto him. Is it entirely non-magical? He's. I think interacting with an illusion gives, gives you him a roll. You have to spell, attack, or otherwise interact with the creature. As a part of that action, you can attempt to yeah, he doesn't a perception have to head, he just check does against the but, observer's perception to convince them. I'm, I'm, I'm contemplating what he sees here, because astrodemons do not see the world in a traditional oh, sense. It's, it's normal illusion rules, so by attacking it, he would get a chance. Well, I'm, deb I'm trying to figure out. If he, I don't think he would attack it at all. I think he would immediately see that that is not you anymore, but he would not see where you went. Because I go straight to undetected. Right, yeah. is what I think would happen. I'm looking, he's got some interesting I imagine they have something yeah. like sensory soul sight perception. Or something. He would immediately what see that is I not see? you. I don't <laughs> think he would swing at it. He would see Marshall in front of him, who's taking a swing, and um, he would see Raz in the back, who's been struck. And he'd see this kind of wavering smell the blood in the water. He's going to step. Well, what do you have out right now, Marshall? Is it big red? Big red. He's going to step back away from Marshall. There are no fools. That's and a step. step. Step doesn't provoke. And. Uh, Raise Same. one claw and just point a figure towards Raz, from which there will be a swelling energy. Uh, this reddish flesh around his hands starting to begin glow yellow into a pulsating orb of energy that then fires out, uh, surprisingly almost kind of slowly, not like an instant blast of light, something you can see wave through the air unerringly as it connects with Raz. Uh, make me a fortitude save. 25. Are you sure? Do you have hero point? No. That sounds really bad. 25 will critically fail. You take 160 points of negative damage. Go ahead, Nis. Rez, uh, it means this hits and immediately falls to the floor as this I... beam has no, no. like visible no. searing blast, no impact, no fire, but it hits him and he just drops. I do not have a reaction. You are. And then he's too far away for me to do anything. Dying two, because he went down to a critical failure. Oh, my old friend. And doomed I'm... one. So your dying is one worse. But that is it for him. Marshall. Oh, blimey. Ah! Uh, you know what? Marshall's going on the defensive. Maybe. I don't know. Wait, that's a bad idea. What are you doing? What's your, it's your turn. What's happening? What does Marshall do? It's six uh, seconds. I'm, whatever. I'm going to go for it. Marshall is going to dash over to Raz. Okay. As you move over. I was waiting for it. You, uh, you see this nearest one clearly notice and look towards you, but see where you're going and turn his attention back towards Rasheen. He does not take his snatch. Okay. Uh, battle potato, Raz back to life. You take a potato and you kneel down and you go to heal him. There is no response. There is no reaction. There is nothing. And you quickly check. Raz isn't dying. Raz is dead. Marshall, upon after checking his pulse and everything, Trying oh, to shove hey, a potato into so like hot. he's starting to develop actual tears. Raz, Raz, and he just screams and intimidates the one that shot the spell at him. You'll hear the Raz, the, the one in the very back. Yes, you would all visibly see Marshall tending to Raz, and there's just no reaction at all. Ooh. Uh, that is a juicy forty-five. Uh, he is well. You are upset, and he is a little concerned about it to be sure. Right, he's going to shy reactions. back a little further here. Oh, no. Hero point. Too late. Don't die, Rez. Let him do it. I don't know what you can do with that, but you have it for <laughs> future potential. There's Resme. Um, you'll hear Resme scream. Uh, partially, uh, mostly in anger, actually. 
Um, and uh, she will step up behind Roshin mm. and put something into your hand. Um, mm. It's a uh, potion. It's a. Uh, Do I recognize what it is? Yeah, it's the As same thing I gave you last time. Go to hand it up and come back into Slap. view. The claw is going to reach past Roshin as you hear almost a jubilant laugh in its I'm head. I'm stepping. You handing. Road. You're handing. Handing's a manipulate. Oh, right. handing's manipulate. You're right. He's going to reach out and grab towards you. Yeah, it's not the movement. It's the uh, nimble dodge back into the hallway. It's not, well, yeah. It's... Maybe, the door, maybe the corner may help. And as he reaches, <laughs> the final chapters here, boys. Uh-huh. There are no pulled punches. As he reaches through, as you go to uh, move back, he pivots his whole body a little further, almost wrapping around Roshin here to grab towards Resume. It's still bad, but it's on your fort DC. Um, he's not the frightened Add one. Add 10 to your fortitude save, and that's what it is. Oh, nimble. So nimble dodge just doesn't. Dodge. Just doesn't. Oh yeah, I guess you'd still have your nimble dodge because it wouldn't apply. It's not an attack. Okay. It's a grab. Well, it's, it is an attack trait, but it's a grab. Not versus AC. Um. Hmm. Drop plus two. Thirty-seven. Uh, that is exact DC. He is going to grab, and he's gonna. He pulls you in. It's going to Question. yank you around to his north side here, past your sheet, because that's the nearest can, available can space. Can all of us block his block that movement? She gets pulled to where he like adjacent to him, and that's the only free space from where he is. But what I mean is that like, can he pull her past and through obstacles? He basically can pull him or up over you through the room here because there's a few feet of clearance above you. Okay. Question. I answered already in my head. Okay. I was going to ask when my songs end since they ran last for a round. My round is after resume, but I didn't have defense up. I had defense up. Her DC was Whatever up. potion she had pulled out to hand to Roshin as she gets yanked away will drop to the ground at Roshin's feet. Uh, but you have one action left, resume. Um, you cry. Nope. Uh, take him down. Take him down. Uh, and, uh, I, and, and she will, uh, her eyes will glow um, with radiant light, and you will all see um, the results of what his next action are going to be and exactly what he's going to do, so you can hopefully intercept it. The one it. grabbing you or the one that killed Raz? Uh, the one that killed Raz. Thank you. The one in the back, lobster man. So this one. No, the I thought the one that killed, one that killed Raz, Raz is the one holding off. me. No, no, he backed off. Oh, then I'm doing it on the one who's holding me. Okay, that's that's why I asked oh. between those two things. I, I right. thought they were the same person. No. Sorry. Oh, that's rude. And that only it's applies to the attack the roll, not the mischance, right? I mm-hmm. believe it ignores, it ignores concealment. It ignores concealment. So that's why would, I'm doing it. You would see their movements, these strangely fluid flickering moves, sort of solidify as their moves look almost more gug-like. Uh, horrific and awkward how their joints move at angles and in directions you wouldn't exactly expect, but more precisely now that you can see. Where's Sheen? There is a potion. You don't know what it is, but it's on the floor. And he is holding Resme and has now kind of turned his face towards her. All right. Uh... If what you wanted your reaction for is what I think it is, I would also let you just cast it as two actions if you so chose. I know it is a reaction. Okay. But uh, it is still a spell. It is still a spell. I would give it a little bit of Pathfinder 1E within a round as two actions. I would let you do it if All right. it's what I'm thinking of. Uh, it's almost assuredly what you're thinking of because it's the thing that keeps... Right. The thing that stops you from dying. It's the thing that stops you from dying. All right. Um... Uh, sure. Uh, I'll, I'll take you up on that. Um, so sort of seeing, uh, maybe Raz's soul being unstuck, it's taking a while to dissipate, may say. Um, and this one got greedy and wasted his reaction. So, uh, Roshin will turn to Raz, King Galshius! Um, and Briars will 
pull up around the ground, wrapping around an ephemeral vision of Raz before violently slamming his soul back down into his body. <laughs> you stay in there. <laughs> Raz, <laughs> you don't get to die this way. Awaking season. on the floor with Marshall screaming and two hero points in his pocket here. Another from Stad Shades, Raz revive points. For those fortitude saves you're going to need to be making. All righty. Uh, you are at 19 health. Hey, guess what's better than zero? It's better than dead. <laughs> it's infinitely better than dead. One moment. What is the trigger for Breath of Life? You die. Just you Somebody die. dies. It's just their death, not their actively dead. Cor That's the same like thing. Like dead within that round as a reaction. No, no, it's a reaction. As soon as they go down, you burn your reaction, cast a spell, stop them from dying. Huh. That's you think it. That's like, why I was. I was like, I don't have a reaction yeah. right now. <laughs> you would think it'd be like there. Someone within X range of you died within the last round. You have a reaction. You can pop it. Just making sure the death trade. Because like when it comes back to your turn, again. then you can pop it again. I mean, I, I suppose that would be a different left. way you could write it. Um, and uh, Rez is obviously no longer performing at the moment. So you have one action left. That's fair enough. Um, and then uh, spinning around with her eyes flashing with rage, she's going to bring her sword down through the beast, uh, highlighted in her vision as it is. Let's see past this concealment here. Because uh, foresight, not foresight, true target. True target that. does ignore it. Yes, you can see his proper form. So I'll take the 15. For a fleeting moment. And as you land this uh, one swing probably on a 15, that vision does fade. Uh, that's going to be a, let's see here, I have my status bonus here. 43 versus his flat foot. 43 will hit. First blow landed on this uh, foremost of the Astro Demons. All right, so, oh, that's nice and solid. Uh, let's see here, 18, 24, 32 slashing and good damage. Okay, and as you strike him, the good energy sears through him in a flash. You see it burn and char his skin, turning this pale, almost mottled blue flesh black in an instant with burns. And as she leans into it, elbows it deeper in and triggers the spell rune, uh, unleashing a searing light inside his flesh. Nice. Yeah, Damon. Um, mm. Does he take fire damage? He does. Great. <laughs> Great. Uh, 16 fire damage. Okay. And because he's a fiend, he takes good damage also for That's double 15 triggering. more good damage. So 30 yep. total damage, some of which is good in fire. 93 he has taken from that swing total as this light blasts through him. And Weaknesses. still with Resume in his hand, he jerks and recoils, uh, jerking Resume with him. Hey, watch the coiffer. Coiffer. <laughs> Those are words. And, uh, as we come to Trishik, you hear his voice again. Get back. I will have your soul, small one, but you will die alone and in fear. As he glances through Rasheen for a moment and then turns his attention back towards Resume in his hand. He's going to save you for last. How nice. You, you'll hear in your head, get back. I didn't hear back. that, did I? No, you heard that. He oh. looked at you when he said that. Oh, sorry. We're all small to We're all kind of small ones to him. <laughs> <laughs> so, an invisible hand is going to shoot out and swipe, trying to remove the limb holding Resume from his body. Okay. And uh, unarmed to break his hold. I'll let you athletics to try and break her out. This is going to be harder. No, unarmed attack. You could just to Kathy, break yourself you just out. Just, just yourself? Unarmed. Yeah, there's not like a thing <laughs> oh. to break. I will let you do that to okay. break somebody out. There's not a rule for that, so I'm going to say it's going to be definitely harder than doing it yourself. He's trying to disarm him. Yeah. Because she's, he's just got yeah, her like a Yeah, can I use a theory hand, check like, to disarm him? No. But you're, but you're taking his hand. But um, I'll, I'll give that a shot because I Take saw something right happen to, to Roisin. Give me back my hands. <laughs> okay, so that's a 16, so 42. I assume that would be against his fortitude DC. He's yeah. probably having to bump the difficulty up. Though. Yeah, that's not going to get her free, unfortunately. He's not barely got a hold of her, like, with uh, his whole commitment. He's just got one hand that's grabbing onto her. And with his long fingers and the strange talons, it's sort of almost mold around her. It's, it seems almost impossible to force her free. Plan B. I 
get to roll two d20s. I don't care if it's at a minus four. It's, so that's a 14. Is it a minus four? Yeah, For it's on unarmed attacks. Okay. Yeah, I was giving him like a escape as the attack trait. Gotcha, gotcha. You're gotcha. trying to get yourself or somebody free. I'll take the that. 14. So. There's a 10, really. That's a 40. Uh, 40 will hit. 40 will. He's grabbing, grabbing. so he's flat footed. 40 will hit. Mm -hmm. I'm the best thing Aren't ever. Aren't you glad you didn't break that grab? He broke the grab that missed, actually. Yeah. <laughs> well, if I broke the grab, I was. Probably. I dropped the DC. It's gone forever. I have another one. Trishik, get back. I got it. It has to be his. It has to be his. So. 9, 11, 15, 16, 18, 21, 23, 27, 39. Okay. And you would see he'll claw rip through him as this magic of the true target fades. So he has one action. Get. You will hear in your head her shouting, get back. Um. You are actually here as the person. Yeah. Done. I will move into the hallway to break line of sight. Yeah. Skitter out of you there. While taking turns in the stairwell. Yeah. I'll, I'll move like 10 <laughs> feet into the hallway, like completely out of sight. Yeah. So a little, a little further up the stairs just to completely break his view. Raz, you awaken on the floor, very much weakened, still drained, still doomed. Still doomed. Barely conscious. Um, and you would... Uh, Still, you would be able to see yourself, like your own hands or anything. This again, your outline just sort of wavering a little bit, like you don't look like you're wholly here. Um, and you just feel strangely not a ton of pain, not a ton of weakness, just almost nothing. You, you feels like it's a dream through gritted teeth. Raz is gonna shout, cover your ears. Um, my clone drops, by the way. As he performs out a inspired, if I can find it, actually, Dirge of Doom. Dirge How would I do anything other than Dirge of Doom? It's the best and one. And he blasts out a, let me make sure it's a signature. He's blasting out a spirit song across the room over the two of them. Okay. Um, um, with him literally holding Resume and you're on the ground here, if you, you're definitely also going to hit Resume with the spirit song. I, that's why I shouted out, cover your ears. Fair enough. I'm grabbed. What kind of a save? Um, it's a ninth at? level. It's a fortitude. Oh, boy. As Raz is known, allies are also accurate to or valid targets. Valid targets. Raz does not know the meaning of the word danger close. Raz, Marshall's too Raz, Raz only knows yeah. right now. <laughs> no, Raz only knows the meaning of danger close. Okay. So, one of the fronts is going to get a That's not 20. 20. <laughs> Holding it. Uh, one of the front's going to get a 38. Okay. Is that a... Uh, with, with the Dirge of Doom? With... At Dirge of Doom With first. Dirge of Doom, yes. With Dirge of Doom 38. Ah. Uh, damn. Um, and the other one... So 39 with Dirge of Doom. All right. So they're both successes. And I lost... Uh, I have over here for safety. So they both take... 20 d6 damage. You can, you can just roll 10 d6. Yeah, I'm going to roll 10. For roll 5 and quadruple it. Oh, I only have 4. <laughs> <laughs> roll it 5 times. <laughs> All right. Um, 6, 12. That's 10. 20, 32. 33, 66 force damage. 66 force damage is the one in front uh, recoils and staggers and as the massive holy burns across him. Uh, clearly incapacitating him a decent amount as he recoils from this magic. On the back of the room. Does it again? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Stay down! No. He is... Seeing what's going on here, seeing Marshall in the background of the rat, feeling this massive blast come out from Rez. Uh, he is going to surge up forwards around Resme on the north side of the room, uh, stampeding up this carpet, ending up uh, just north of Resme as he reaches down to Rez's dying form here. Uh, you can see he uh, similarly looks to how the other one had after he had consumed 
uh, or attempted to consume uh, Roshin here. He looks like he's just consume, uh, uh, gained in uh, vigor and vitality. He's glowing a little bit brighter. He seems to have s almost swollen up his physical form just the slightest amount. And he rushes forward to the lower end of his jaw, almost just loose, rushing across the top of the carpet as he swipes out towards Rez with it. And he's out of my range again. Get him, Mr. Marshall. Go big. They are all the same. Okay. Um, On 87. 41. It hits. And uh, what is assuredly regular hit, though. Regular hit. You are wounded one. You are doomed one. So you're going to dying two with a fortitude save. So it had the hero points for now. So that's three total. And he needs to get the four. <clears throat> My dice just do not like fortitude saves. Nobody's doing with this table except Marshall's. That's an 18. Ooh, um, plus 23. So that's quick math. 41. One. So with that, you will resist as it rips at your soul. <laughs> Thank it's you. It's going to knock you back unconscious. You are going to fall down. You are dying two, doomed one. You are one step from death. But even as he collapses, as this thing's jaw rips through him next to you, Marshall, you can see that Ray is on the ground is at least still alive. This time, I'm too focused on it on the creature. I didn't and, even uh, know Raz got back up. With one action left, as a uh, you're yelling there, even in fear, this thing is going to reach out, swiping down at Marshall now with a claw, uh, just lashing out towards those of you at the far end of the chamber. Um, for a, uh, a natural one, you yelled it. It's a little scared. It's a little. Nice. It pulls that a bit. I dare you to hit me. <laughs> Meanwhile, the one that's got a hold of. Resume is going to also open its mouth. And again, you'll see this sort of pulling as a, almost a spiritual, a spectral figure of Resume starts to stretch out from her face, from her shoulders, towards the open maw of this thing. Make me a fortitude save. That's good. 50. Yeah, 40. Uh, 40 as it pulls. Again, nothing immediately happens. And he, wounded as he is, drops you to the ground, letting go and turning and looking over the party. Fools, all of you will have my feast. And you all again just kind of hear in your heads as he thoughts he's going to as he drops her just try to eat her directly oh, but yeah. first you don't succeed try with your teeth roll how much <laughs> use your teeth dive much, what's the minimum damage the bite would have done to me i had 19 health and it's technically 15 if i rolled five d10s and all of them were ones they weren't. I immediately rolled a nine and a six. Then I can also skin away any safeguard is reduced by ten. Okay. No, I said no, I didn't have. I keep thinking I had the power to defense up, but yeah. No. I f yeah. No. <laughs> I would not have made. I would have high rolled the hell out of that okay. theoretical. Just anyway. Uh, dive. Anything to keep dive. you alive. <laughs> Nothing wrong there. Life that it doesn't involve putting points into constitution. No. Okay. No. More technical than that. 40, There's a line. Yeah. Forty-nine. Is that is resume? not a crit, good sir. Was it nimble, nimble dodge? Yep, that is a oh, 41. Dive. dive is nimble, nimble dodge. I dive. See. Dive. That nimble is dive. not a crit is what oh. we're looking for. As he bites. That's what nimble dodge is there for. Twenty-eight points of assorted piercing, negative, evil damage. Now you need a fortitude save again. This is me. Give me a minute. All these fortitude saves. Uh, Resume again uh, will, uh, having been just dropped by this thing, is a little shaken up, but she'll kind of come back to herself, even though she's in a horrible alien sandwich. 
and uh are between the two of them uh, also flanked yeah oh also flanked that's definitely a crit oh make your fart safe you take double worse. that huh you take double that you're definitely flanked you're flat-footed yeah so that would a crit so i've been 56 to 28. but what does uh, the fort save that's gonna be a 31. a 31 you would see as he bites at her and rips his teeth pull back a, a bit of her flesh. Certainly, it's painful. Uh, but also, almost in a, a wave, this pale, ephemeral essence pulls out of her as well. You can take eight, no, 17 more damage from being drained one and doomed one as well. Oh, oh. I just got to get you your dying card. Yes, my dear, that hallway looks looking very comfy for you. Oh, I got something better than that. Yeah. Oh, you're giving me a heart attack. Cast maze on herself. <laughs> to fireball their feet. Right, yeah. so. <laughs> 58 right. and 17. And then seeing you on the ground as he's ripped through, he was also just going to open palm, slam a claw down on you, almost to just flatten you as his third action here. This is minus five, four. It's agile. We're frightened. Minus four. Yeah, they got frightened on all these. So I have to do so much, Matt. He's got elite. He's got frightened. He's got agile. Minus four. They could also just go home. <laughs> he could. They could leave. They could just leave. So, but they're hungry. Not worth the fight. Fifty-two. So you're flat-footed. Oh, well, that is definitely a crit. Even Sweat. minus four. With minus Oh, wow. He must have rolled really well. I rolled pretty high. I was a 17. Imagine having to, like, bite a cow every time you wanted a hamburger. That's basically Astro Demon's life. They have a hard, they have a hard life. A Look hard at all pity. I, I don't, yeah, I don't feel very sorry for their existence for some reason. I would give up. Yeah. <laughs> exactly the same damage. So, uh, 56 again. Okay. Still up? Yep. Okay. Make me a fortitude save. She put points in con. And toughness. That's true. And toughness. Gurgling sounds from the corner. How much you got in the, in the, the old health tank? 34. Alive. Not empty. That's a 17, so that's going to be pretty good. Uh, that's going to be. You are drained one. So it's one less. So it's a 16, but that's still a 43. 43 is good, and as he rips, he, 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 uh, as he slams here, you'd see obviously some blood. The claws strike pretty true. You hear almost just in disbelief in all of your heads. A little flesh is as strong as your souls. Impossible. Ah, uh, enough with the souls. Marshall. Marshall is legitimately blinded by rage after seeing his uh, best rat getting taken down by this thing. Really offended by the use of the word rat. You're, you're, you're my best rat, though. <laughs> so you're, not, you're not offended by it, actually. You don't hear any of this. Yeah. Just, so vehemently. upon this, Marshall <laughs> actually, out of this rage just turns off the safety switch and goes large to Big Marshall. Can you do that mid-range? Oh, yeah, it's going to take you an action, but you can. It takes yeah. me an so action. So you, uh, you get large yep. growing next to this thing as it kind of shifts back a little bit as you suddenly get a matching stature. Play with someone your own size. That's a 19 on die with King. Okay, maybe you can summon check. This is why you always roll concealment first. I'm going to turn into hero point I just received. <laughs> well done. Martin Estro. I'm going to open it. I'm going to take it out. I'm going to wave it towards you. I'm going to put it back in. Thank you. Perfect -roll. timing. That can see I'm going to whack him good. Nice. 17 on the die. Woo! That'll hit 19. That'll crit. And I don't know if the sound damage matters with this guy. They but. are only, they don't have any immunities to types of damage. And he might roll a one on the fourth Well, save. okay, negative. But like, yeah. <laughs> He might be deaf now. Uh, kind He's of not, but roll, he could have been. But like a DJ. Weapon. <sighs> well, the point is your minimum is no less than 50 on a crit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Crap, I lost my math. Oh. <laughs> Stop! <sighs> All right. So 12 and 25 That's your gut. is 37 times 2 is... 74. 74. Yep. 74. Okay, so 74, and if it matters, fortitude save for the... I did roll the fortitude save, okay. he's not deaf. Going, going um, deaf. And axe crit spec is... Oh, They're no not, one's adjacent. adjacent. No one's other. adjacent, unfortunately. He's totally adjacent. Oh, sweep no. through it. The other enemies guy. have to be other adjacent. Guy. Yeah, 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 that's right. 
Um, that solid blow is going to send the Astro Demon reeling, but not take it down. All right, I'm going to swing at it again. I'm going to do concealment first because we know better. There you go. That's an 11. That passes. That's the, exactly the concealment check. And then minus five. That is a miss because I rolled a three. I'm pretty sure. Second swing, not going to do quite as much res. But I did a thing. You did. You got a solid hit in there. So what did I back away for? Both Let's of see. them are reeling a little bit here. Resume. Marshall was very angry. I'm going to mobility 20 feet away. Okay. Which, uh, towards the stairs? Toward the, yeah. Or towards the far end of there. You can get like to the bottom of the stairs, so 20 feet. Yeah. It's <laughs> like right there? Which would uh, solidly. One more, one more square into the. Yeah, you can get. No, you can go five further than that. With two diagonals. Yep, and two then diagonals one and then a straight. Yeah, you can get to the bottom of the stairs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just not risking it. Um, I'm going to pull a potion. Uh, for what it's worth, he definitely still has yeah, you target keep on going. you from there. You Mobility have covered the No, 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 you can... don't understand. I'm about to drink a potion that's going to make me not okay. exist. You have As to you pull, pull the... the potion, the hand reaches oh, around the door frame. Oh, I see what you're frame. saying. Okay. Oh. Then I'll I continue see moving. <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought you said, I didn't realize you, you were saying that. I thought you just said you're okay. not in sight anymore. No, you move. You sit your cheek here on the stairs. And yeah, you I'm can not hiding yet. Yeah, you can squeeze up okay, past him further up the stairs. I'll keep moving. Solid distance here. There goes. Whoops, it you just use arrow keys to move them linearly. And uh, then you pull a potion. I'm going to pull a potion. Okay. Roshin. <sighs> right. Just don't stay alive. So, uh, Roshin, actually, be being left for last is actually very good for your health when you're fat, fast healing, mm -hmm. interestingly enough. They didn't attack you at all, have they? Uh, they hit me once, and then I, okay, I hurt they... them really bad, and they were like, all right, not going to do that again. Um, so uh, Roshin is going to drop her shield, which will provoke. Uh, dropping does not. It, it is a did last time. Yeah, it is a manipulate, but it, is, it explicitly says it does not trigger reactions. Oh, interesting. It's the step of manipulate actions. Gotcha. Which is the thing that I learned. Gotcha. Okay. The learning. Punch. The learning. Um... But uh, fair enough, yeah. Okay, drop the shield then. Um, and uh, you know you want to. I would like to actually. I mean, yeah, I'm. God, this damn concealment. It's only what are you a doing? fifty fifty. What's the I reaction? was really hoping I would provoke. I was actually hoping to provoke the reaction. But, okay, there, there it is. Um, grip your sword. Yeah, uh, no, uh, throw, punch <laughs> with the gauntlet. Punch me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, everybody's going, ha, ah, but now. Um, now, uh, so drop the shield, uh, throw a hook with the gauntlet. Fair enough. Uh, concealment, 15, passes. passes. Uh, roll the hit, 16. Uh, it's going to be the Value. same as, it's got all the runes that my sword has because of the doubling rings. Uh, so that's going to go to a... Uh, 44. 44 hits. Alrighty. So. Solid punch. Greater striking gauntlet. Get some nice. D4s in here. Womanly left hook. That's it. I <laughs> uh, got a good die from a holy rune. He's not going to like that very much. He's not. Uh, nice. see here. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11, and 8, 19, uh, bludgeoning and good damage. Okay. And trigger the uh, spell storing <laughs> rune on the gauntlet for a divine lance blasting into him. Um, for an additional, let's see here, uh, 14 more good damage. Heard you like weaknesses. Yeah. That's wanna... a pretty good hit. You want to go home? As yet? he takes more of these blasts of holy energy here, he uh, his body now battered and beaten. Uh, the parts where it's been cut or blasted through that has holy energy burnt as they are, they do not bleed. He doesn't ooze anything. He, uh, he releases nothing. All the blood smeared throughout this room now is your own. But his body is looking more and more strangely tattered. Uh, almost ragged, like a curtain flapping through the battle at this point. Grit. <laughs> and hit him again. The funny part is, I think the grip is that actually does provoke. Are you serious? Yeah. Because that does manipulate. manipulate. Nice. Huh. I, I wasn't joking when I was release, like, Come on, hit me. Release, <laughs> yeah. You can release doesn't. Well, the problem is I had grip, to get the gauntlet. Yeah, punch grip off, actually but. does. So at that point, he's gonna swipe at you with this hand, 
Uh, at this point, uh, rather than bringing you into him, almost turning his hand the other way and grasping you out away. Stop. 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 Get away, crazy lady. It's like um, a forehead. <laughs> 34 versus your 4DC. Just do what uh, I did. 34 is a fail. He's not going to grab you. Ah. Just do what I did. Get big. <laughs> I don't have enough actions to throw 35 35 again. If that probably 37. Matter. Oh, yeah, yeah. I didn't think it would matter, but like it's, it is slightly higher because I looked at his four, not his uh, athletics. Yep. Um, oh, I looked at the wrong thing. Um, all right, and uh, let's see again. Concealment is a 17. And swinging the sword is a 5. Unfortunately, not going to land that one, almost certainly. Uh, Trishik. I can't see you, so it's hard for me to know what to do. Yeah. So what did you have me leave the room for? You guys are in the hallway here. I thought I was going to have to do something drastic. Okay, have fun. <laughs> right back in. Um, <laughs> I'm going to try to sneak back into the room now that I've broken line of sight okay. with the closest yeah, one. Yeah, he... Uh... Yeah, the closest one does not see you. Clearly, the one that is currently dueling with Marshall, you're within full view of him. But you are hidden from the uh, seemingly senior of the two. So or I'll sneak right back to my previous position in right front of him. North of Roshin. And stop being squished. <laughs> if wait, it's your leader. Then I'm going to s- slap him. Okay. Actually, even while sneaking, can I tumble through? No. It would break your concealment. I thought so. Uh... His concealment. Mm-hmm. Eleven. Eleven. That's Actually, the number. That is That's the what number. We need. Fifteen. Nice. That's so nice. That's gonna go up to a forty-six. Forty-six will hit. Against he's not frightened anymore, right? He he's, is because there's a doom. Right. So flat footed frightened. Yep, it will hit. Eleven, thirteen, seventeen, twenty. 3, 29, 35, 47. What, do you, what happens to him, Trishy? Oof. Ah, so this one is too busy looking at the holy light that's been smashing through him to see the soul get stolen out of his own body. As I sneak back into the room and through his illusions, you can't miss if you plunge right through the middle. Plunge in, curve the claws, grab something vital, and yank it back out. One down. One action left. I'm going to flank the one that is still up. Mm. So you move around behind him. It is go time, and Raz, Marshall looks like he's about to make this thing hurt. Are just to recap, dying two, doomed one. Oh, God, no one got Raz up. It is a DC 12 recovery check. And at I, I this point, take if you fail, you die. Would that have had a reaction for me? He already used it. He already used it. Okay. 11. This is what you have him for. Reroll opportunity here, Raz. That was a Norse foundry <laughs> metal die that hit the ground. Now. Tell me, do you trust me? No. No. Here it comes. No. <laughs> Why do you believe in the Malachite? Because I rolled 16 from One earlier. re-roll. <laughs> Rez. And he goes to the Malachite, so if I fail, it's Zerp's fault. Oh my god, please succeed. I take full succeed. responsibility for please the death succeed. of Please succeed. It's an eight. And uh, Rez <sighs> slips back oh, from well. life we on tried. the floor. And as he does, do you see again? this wavering of his figure pull out, uh, barely visible, much uh, more ephemeral spectral image of Raz out from his body and shoots as if yanked into the chest of this second. King Galshios, back in his body. <laughs> um. Wow. <laughs> Remember the conversation we had about why so would I take more? Why was that dying too to begin with? Because you could critically fail this. No, I didn't. I regular failed. You critically failed that. You got a no. 25 on the. You got 25. I, criti- like, I critically failed the first one. You critically failed the one that there was the. This one, I just yes. regular failed. You critically you failed the first one, went to dying. And then you're wounded two, one, which puts you at dying. But you come yeah. back up at but wounded you were doomed. one. You're then you're wounded doomed. one and doomed one. So you go down at two, it goes to dying three. And then we're stacking move. all the death. Yeah. 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 So you're dying three, 
And now you're alive and one. And then you failed, so you went to dying and wounded four. wounded two. And then that oh, cued the it. reaction, okay. which now I you're back alive. I saved my reaction. Oh, good. And now you're alive one. It's because... How it's many of those you got, Roshin? Uh, zero more. <laughs> no more is the last time I'm going to die. Rez, there's this... 21 health left. <laughs> snaps back into his body, wounded two, doomed <gasps> one. <laughs> zero health oh is dead. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Well, you'd actually still have to get crit. If you went down to a crit, you would die instantly. Um, okay, but that was go down to three. recovery was his turn. I'm gonna hold this dying card. And as you see this thing, uh, this glow snatched away from it as Kashyyyk flanks around behind it. Uh. It turns towards its fallen comrade here. You Jaw should have stuck to paperwork. A little slacked and looks towards Roshin. And uh, puts both claws up at the sides of its head, turning its attention from the combat for just a moment, which is going to provoke concealment first. Concealment first. Miss. Miss. And disappears. Oh, good. He All is right. also gravely wounded. He's got 190 on him. He, that guy has not not been hit. Marshall is still very, very angry despite everything, but eventually he. Shrinks down. As he wavers out from existence here, uh, this is a spell that you both have and have cast, Resme. You would recognize Dimension Door. He is not invisible. He has gone somewhere. He's gone home. He go bye-bye. Hopefully. I don't think Dimension Door will go to uh, the Abyss. His, but... home, his, his home away from home. He could it's have called really... Catapash. He's just up in the yeah. market somewhere. No one's going to notice him. No one's going to care. Yeah. You know, what? that fight went really well um, for three-fifths of us. Goodness gracious, Raz. You have him scared half to death. You're but, actually half dead. <laughs> Resme is like uh, not, even. not really moving and kind of shaking, and she looks really pale. How's everyone else? Look? Dear, I'll give you a back rub in just a moment. 21, drained one, doomed one, wounded two. All right, so let's... Alive. But alive. If we have enough time... And I, we I, I could, I are alive. alive. We are alive. If we have enough time, I could treat him. But well, that depends on how long you want to sit here. You did not use your battle potato on him because he's not a valid target. So you could still battle potato him if you wanted. Um, and I could treat him. You could, but you could normal treat him too. Permanent um, doomed or not permanent doomed? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, there's two of us that are doomed and drained. Huh? As, well, the good news is if there is a place to be beaten half or entirely to death twice, twice. and then find some respite, it is this... Very well-appointed sitting room you have found yourselves in. And while one half of it is now severely bloodied... How long does the temp health last? Yeah, did, did it's gone never, now. Oh, it, it, it lasts just one round. Yeah, oh, a minute. It lasts a minute. Okay. Rez, I the did support. not get hit, no. Chad does not want a dead red here. What? Seems Are you need sure? another one, Rez. <laughs> from Bagaman. Thank you. Coin, 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 coin. But myself, going back up to two as well, Hermagistus, I'm helping. <laughs> you are helping. Oh, um, Raz, I was worried about that fight. They have a lot of things that say make a save or die. A lot of things that say make a fortitude save. A lot of things that say make a fortitude save or die. Infamously bad with fortitude saves. I was a little worried about that encounter, and it went well about as I thought it would. I figured there was a 50-50 we would had truly lose a character there. I had flashbacks. We uh, almost did. Raz almost. is going to... I'm going to... Um, out of breath of life. Prop myself up against the wall. I'm not even like super shaky legs. I've got more mileage out of Breath of Life in this <laughs> to this session than Thank I have the you. entire time. They also I've had get it. a fat buff if the, if someone dies and they get a soul. So. Oh, fun! Thank you, Miss Resme. I could hear your voice there in the fading light of my consciousness and life. Oh, oh yes, Miss Resme. She's she's the light. Or not, Miss Resme, Miss Rasheen. No, 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 it's okay. Ms. I understand. Resume is statless. Yeah, They're like shell shocked, sat halfway yeah, up the be, staircase. I'm going to be honest with you, Mr. Sheen. You have a much lovelier voice than Ms. Resume does. <laughs> Upon this, Marshall. You can bring the dead back to life. Upon this, Marshall kind of forcefully hug tackles you and squeezes you. He's like, oh, Raz, I thought I lost you, buddy. You see, the thing is, it's not physical damage. It's just my soul was forcibly removed from my body. Ow. So oh, I'm, I'm gonna I'm squeezing too hard, am I? I'm gonna <laughs> peek in that door where his daughter was. See if she's just in a room chilling. As you open the doorway here. No, 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 no. Explosion. Peeking. Everybody, make me a reflex save. I'm kidding. You. Uh, I was ready. You look. <laughs> oh! 
Gotta keep you on your toes. Let's. I'm on my you feet. Hand me the melee kite, you look and you see. Oh, uh, no, Marshall's arms. Thank you. Well, you're not sure if this is a, um, like a very wide, large, well-appointed hallway or another chamber entirely, but a path that stretches out uh, into a massive complex beyond. Just no simple it. sitting room holding Mirabelle, and you close that door right yep. back up. Just seeing if she was in there waiting, because I was going to drag her in here, like, look at what you've done. This is the people you've chosen to side with. Too bad she is not there. <laughs> it's, it's, she's it would have sounded amazing, I tell you. You had to be there. Um, Raz is gonna. I'm gonna start singing to myself your silky lullaby because he is very riled. I'm gonna use some low level spell slots to cast soothe on myself multiple times. Um, I'm gonna use the staff to hit him with a fourth level restoration to knock that doomed off. Okay. If it's not permanent, it falls away. Bonk. Well, was, do you have a card? Let me just for reference see. Heightened level the, four. The words. Third level suits. No counteract check needed. Yeah, it does not counteract. That's why okay. that's in the staff. You are no longer doomed or drained, Rez. Rez, my dear. You're going to have to suffer. Raz is fucked from the brink. Um, all you can myself. hear is Resme repeating again and again. I hear them, 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 I hear them. You're right over there. I can hear Rur and Dalren and they're all in here and they won't they won't get out. They I can hear them whispering. Why can I hear them whispering? They never whispered like this before. Oh, she's having soldiers panic. Uh... Um, her eyes look haunted. Like you've never seen her look like this before. Rez, even as you tend to yourself here with your your legendary me. occultism at this point, right? Yes. With your occult connection, uh, with the demise of these astrodemons in the chamber, well, the room has fallen fallen peacefully silent, save for the gentle flickering of torches for everyone else. You too can quite literally hear a muttering, a murmuring. It sounds almost like a large crowd on the other side of a wall or outside of the room that you're in. It's not coming from anywhere. It's just a chatter. Make me an occultism check. Mm-hmm. I, lost all my D- I lost all my d20s in that fiasco. Oh, 18 on the die. Plus 30, so 48. With what these demons appear to have done and with what you experienced, you even saw perhaps for a brief moment, these aster demons throughout decades, possibly even centuries or millennia, have collected hundreds, if not thousands of souls torn from Phrasma's river. They are destroyed. They are beyond redemption. They cannot simply be replanted to the boneyard, but they have been released by the death of these demons. Souls they have consumed over their lifespan did not simply disappear into energy or matter. And they're just sort of here now, fading quickly, but it's the murmuring of hundreds of victims. This- Miss Roshin, can you can you do me a favor? Um, can you offer a prayer to Phrasma? Fair enough, I can. I mean, can't save the souls, but it's a good gesture, I think. Resme, dear, shh. Um, Let them be quiet. Resme um, is like whispering to herself, and she starts um, just repeating like something in Elvish. You don't really understand what it means. Uh, What's it Roshin's mean? gonna take a page out of Raz's book and start kind of uh, whispering uh, a little childhood lullaby of hers as she goes and casts uh, another restoration out of the staff. Uh, you want me to take care of the last while you do that? How many charges are that? First things at? first, uh, one left. I'm burning my own spell slots. Oh, you're using your thing. Yeah, okay. okay. Cause once this is out, I don't have restoration anymore. Marshall will just kind of sits next to you and offers from his personal drinking you, horn. Do you do another fourth level restoration? <laughs> yeah. How many charges did it start with? Nine. Didn't you use it for something other than... Re- You've used it for something. Yeah, I had three here. left. 
every by burning my own levels, I would only use one charge from this. Oh, yeah. Okay. If you use, I literally did not know that was a thing. Yeah. Yeah. You can use it two rules. ways. You can just Fair burn enough. straight burn the charges, or what you can do as a spontaneous caster is burn a charge and burn one of your own levels to cast something that matches. Fair enough. Something. So with that, you would also expunge the doomed and drained conditions from Resme as well, which would steady her outline as well as her form settles back down to its original state. Oh, they're gone. Oh, they're gone. They're gone. Now, Marsha, what are you doing here? As uh, Roshi's kind gone. of in the stairwell, Raz is next to you, technically alive. Kind On of the ground. Is Raz himself. alive? Well, I is was she... still with us. I was tending to the last. I was trying to offer a drink to get her wits about her. Oh, More take a less. shot. Take a shot of Marshall's. It'll steady your nerves. Oh. Uh, hi, hi, hi. I think I'll stick with uh, Lass? ancient elven magic. Oh, Thanks. Lass? Raz wants uh, a drink. She'll, she'll start. With, <laughs> uh, she'll start uh, whispering to herself, I, "Donum vitae, donum vitae, do donum that. vitae." As she'll gather magic around her, and health will suffuse her body. I'm throwing a level eight heal out on myself. Okay. Uh, I was just saying, as he sees Raz take the, I was like, uh, "Just take a uh, sip." Oh God. Uh, oh, Torag. Uh, you might need to make a fortitude save. Well, it's going to hurt a little less, at least. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the pain's gone. Uh, Sheik, okay. what are you doing after you peek through that door? <laughs> after I peek in the door and I turn around to see Resme traumatized, worse than she's mentioned before, a curiosity at least, what exactly did you plan to do? And was it explosive? You seem to want to get us out of the way. Uh... She, as she finishes whispering uh, to herself, I'm gonna get a hell of a lot of help. Back. No. This is mine now. Mathin. Uh, what's Numbers. Eight times eight. Nine, nine. 64. 64. That's what resume is. 104 health back. Nicely done. Math and distance. Uh, so mm -hmm. after that, she'll look at you and she'll go, I have a. It's what I like to call a. Well, it's, it's something I put up around me and an enemy, and everyone who's within 10 feet would be very badly harmed by it, or the, the spell just didn't work. But after that, I leave, and it's trapped in there, and if it wants to come out, it's going to have to take a whole lot of hurt. Bubble. Interesting. So mm. if uh, you ever see me get grabbed again, guys, try to stay, I don't know, at least 10 feet away from me so I can, you know... Walk away alive, maybe. Keep that in mind. It's good to know. Oh, okay. It's new to me, so I haven't really thought about it before. But it's actually, uh, it's interesting. It's interesting in kind of the way that, you know, sort of dying and then coming back and then dying and then coming back is kind of interesting. And then... Raz, my dear, you're rambling. You hear the voices, Raz? Did you hear the voices? Did you? you? Did you, you hear them? You might need to cast it out again. I thought her saying that they came back, but it looks like he's slipping. No, no, Raz, oh, Raz, please now. tell me. Please tell me that, that, I, that you heard the voices too. I heard the release of hundreds of souls from the astral demon that someone thankfully <sighs> murdered. Okay, okay, maybe that's so what it was. So poop on my hands. Yeah. Maybe that's what it was. Okay. Okay, she just starts now. petting Severin. Roshin will just hug you because okay. she knows that's not what it was. Uh, so. Hey, hey, Sheenie, you smell really nice. <laughs> Some no, I don't. Decent amount of magic later. Uh, Resme and Raz are at least looking a bit better. They tend to largely to themselves. Um, I'd imagine we're going to take a 10 minute break here. Put an Res immovable rod on the door. We have quite a few doors. There's uh, the two doors that lead out north and the door of the stairwell behind you. Put the body so, in the stairwell. Put an immovable rod on two doors. Lock the third door. None of these doors have I will locks. lock the third door. You'll <laughs> make a lock. I will make a lock, lock and lock the door. We can the door. do the old climbing python trick. You can do all the That will at least delay somebody coming through here. As these doors down here do seem to be much more... As well as the inside of the door leading to the stairwell seemed to be much, again, far more finely crafted, uh, ornamental. Uh, much more expense was put into these than the simple function of the doors on the upper levels. Uh, that said, they do not look terribly sturdy. Uh, even, again, less so than most of those you've been past before. Uh, which is a little interesting given the depth that this chamber is seated into the Red Pyramid itself. I'm going to throw another level 2 heal on myself to bring myself back up to full. So if we're yep. taking a 10-minute uh, <clears throat> thing, 
who I else imagine needs gonna... a little topping off by chance? Well, they're trying to save me for last, so I'm actually perfectly fine. Because I never got that far. Rams is still visibly, like, pretty deeply yeah, in. He's still I'm wounded, getting there. too. I'm getting um, there. I so... could definitely use it. Uh... Okay. Raz, come here. Pulls Hello. out the tater stick. I haven't moved. You've been standing there the entire time, and I haven't moved. <laughs> oh, don't, don't, don't doubt me. Pulls out a monocle. I'm a doctor. <laughs> Where'd you I'll, get the monocle? Who'd you still? Who did you I steal found it. From? I'll spend my ten minutes putting my puppet back together. Twenty-six yeah. on medicine, or twenty-eight on yeah, medicine. Yeah, that succeeds. So that will remove your wounded condition, and you get. And hey, I don't know how much health you're still missing, but you're gonna get two d eight plus ten, so. Twenty. Twenty-one hit points. Also. How, how Twenty-two. Badly? How badly off do you still look? 22. That's 10 minutes later. We're not there yet. Slow down. Yep. So you're going to be doing that for 10 minutes. Yep. Uh, while oh, that's Trishik right. He's is, doing real medicine. He's working to <laughs> put his decoy back together. Uh, as you're being tended, I imagine you're just, you know, trying to not be dead. Uh, Roshane and Resmit, what are you doing? Raz, do you see this little potion that I gave you? There's still the... a potion on the ground where Roshane was standing, too. That hasn't picked back oh. up yet. Yeah, I didn't have time to pick that up. Put it, put it in your damn pocket. What, this one? Yes. Wouldn't it be Fair better enough. for me to carry? Since typically Roshin's busy. No, that's for her to drink. You remember that thing where I made you feel really awesome and it like made you feel all buff? Oh, yes, yes, that one. It's that one. Oh, well, thank you. Raz? I'll keep it in mind. You see these little blue potions that I gave you? These <laughs> little blue potions where if you drink them... You 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 disappear from reality and nothing can hurt you. I don't. Next time, I don't. You're almost dying. You drink one of these, you disappear from time, and you don't die. I don't. No. Think there was enough time for me to I not don't, no, die. No, no, you're doing a whole lot of talking, and what I need you to do is so to you. be quiet. Because you know, be in one second. You spent you, an awful lot of the time dying. You were doing it quite frequently. I didn't have enough time to not <laughs> die. Bring it in, buddy. <laughs> you it. started I, singing instead of drinking. I started instead screaming of, instead of singing. Yeah, you see that? You see that screaming, Wake, singing back thing? Up. Ah! <laughs> to be fair, your scream Slap has a melodic him. tone to it. It really felt like it bolstered my spirit. It's in, years of practice. Instead of singing next time, swigging. Swigging is better. Okay? Yeah. All right. To be honest with you, I completely, completely forgot you. Of course you Marshall did. is doctorizing Raz here. Because in one second I was stabbed with a pill, the next second there was a finger pointed at me and I was dead. <laughs> I don't so remember the second. Called finger of dead. I don't that's remember. I don't remember the second after that. And the next second my spirit was being shoved back into my body. I woke up, panicked, scream, scream, scream. It's a new word. Scream. Yosoki for past sense of scream. Gotcha. <laughs> scream. <laughs> I've been scream. I've been I couldn't. Scream. I couldn't. I couldn't fit it into the itinerary of drink potion. I don't so, remember which pockets in. So here's the thing: what you need to do is before you go to bed every night, I want you to practice that motion so that it becomes muscle memory. Oh, I do that every day. Did so, she give me a potion? <laughs> huh? Did she give me a potion? I believe she did. Yes. She's been she's been very insistent on handing them out actually. And as you're discussing this, the four of you are over here. Trishik's over putting his little log back together with a cape it's on like it. Like Legos. Uh, you would notice that <laughs> well well appointed. This room doesn't really have anything. Like it does not currently stock with any refreshments. It has no cabinets or anything to hold things of value. Uh, but there is a small black velvet sack. Uh, it's a pretty decent size, but it's a little larger than a coin purse. Set back in a nestled in the corner of the couch where the astro demon had been sitting. It's full uh, of souls. It's full of black gemstones. Well, that doesn't make Trishy happy. They're gemstones. Uh, opening it up, it does appear to have a pretty sizable assortment of small and medium sized little raw black gems, uncut, unshaped, uncarved. We know what we're going to do with those. But, uh, Put them on a scale. Put them on a scale. Sixteen hundred gold pieces each. Nice. Whole bag. Whole bag. Okay. I was gonna say that's kind of ridiculous, but I'll take it. That's still a good chunk of money. Yeah, it's still good. <laughs> a bag of black gems, sixteen hundred. But as that ten minutes pass, and the it's group okay. of you uh, ready yourselves as well as you can for the resources you still have. Let's take our break real quick. You know, Mr. Marshall, you're getting really it's good fine. at this whole... It's fine. Whatever this is. Everyone's Let's alive. It's covered in starch. Stretch our legs. Potato automate. Nobody's dead. Rasheen? Oh. 
We'll be back in a couple of minutes, everyone. Don't Just go too shake far. Shake the rat. It's like 10 minutes or so to grab some snacks, top off our drinks. We'll see you then. BRB. Welcome back, everybody. I feel ah. great. Everybody, because nobody's dead mm -hmm. anymore. So, <laughs> not even if Raz wounded. had died, there's not even just come back and the chair's gone, the mic's gone, nothing there. We just make him go home. Like, yeah. you're just like, get out. Oh, you're dead, get out. Well, you can't even stand watching us and say, go home. Yep. <laughs> Think about what you did. The Bambi. nameplate would keep popping up over an empty chair because I can't change that mystery. <laughs> no, no, no. You, <laughs> you see Mataz Twitch. there reform into a druid, and then he just takes over the druid character that and was Mataz the whole time. Mataz on the chair. Just Mataz just, perched you know. on the microphone, and that's it. Yep. So, <sighs> as we left off, we had slain an Aster Daemon. That we'd met before, some of us. Uh, though his comrade escapes via teleportation magic from this basement to, well, somewhere. Oh, that just means he'll come back later at the least convenient time. When he does, we'll be a higher level. I'm going to reload my sword and my gauntlet. You know, it must have been a relatively powerful teleportation magic because a simple fourth level dimension door doesn't let you go outside line of sight. So it must well, have been a... it does. It does not. Really? It explicitly does not. Oh. But uh, so it must have been a little stronger. Uh, how's Raz looking? How are we all looking at this point? We can start with Raz. Um, I could Ow. be better. I okay. healed myself. I used two third level souls. I was in the second level spell slot healing myself. Okay. And a potato. And a potato. How's Rasheen looking? Rasheen is, uh, th the nice thing about the boss saying I'm going to save you for last is that uh, I'm looking just fine, actually. <laughs> my my curse healing basically kept me nice and full. How's Resme at that point? Resme's full. All right. So Resme is perfectly fine. It's another, it's another Tuesday, nothing wrong, having a great afternoon. No, she's having a really the afternoon, and she is totally not fine, but she is at least not bleeding. How's your cheek? I got a boo-boo from the last fight, but not this one. They didn't really touch me. They were just kind of really goopy. It re like, it didn't feel good between my claws. He's fine. <laughs> Marshall's upset. Marshall's processing emotions. He's uh, Marshall is actually not terrible. Other than he's rage. pretty, He's been pretty consistent about doctoring himself. I'm going to throw a couple of level two heals up on Raz. Wait. The Astro Demon's going to go meet the Bone Devil. <laughs> I thought about that. Collect Don't think demonic I didn't. antagonists back in Breach Hill. Yeah. Could, could you imagine a fish demon co going back and be like, bro, I just They're saw the this actual heroes know. of the Age of Ashes. Book <laughs> <laughs> six is just the okay. demon anti party. It's uh, made a 48 lot of points of health back. Ooh. I'll retrain Banish. I'm topped off. I would have gotten away okay, with good. it too if it wasn't for those pesky adventurers. But with that, the state of this room, the. Art has been knocked to the ground, the carpets rent asunder, and the blood smearing most of the west half of this sitting chamber is not your problem. <laughs> not even my blood. It Most, is my blood. It's, <laughs> it's mostly, it's it's mostly your blood. I just don't I remember think. bleeding. Prestidigitation. It's not his blood That's anymore because I'm not looking at it or smelling it. As you cast Prestidigitation, uh, one the couple inch life. section of the wall fades very slightly. Mm. And, uh, I don't like it. He bled a lot. I know. As if you had scrubbed it for maybe one minute with a damp sponge. Because <laughs> that's what Prestidigitation does. I know. <laughs> and uh, what now, friend? Doors. <sighs> shall we go pursue where Miraville went, or shall we check the other one? Well, we, based on me looking in, it likely leads somewhere. Uh, probably best. It leads somewhere. Oh, is that a fact? I do not know if the other two do. It might it's just open onto a blank wall, might it? It might be a small waiting room. Next I'm, to the other waiting room. We're gonna open. This would be a foyer. That could be a waiting oh, room. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not as cultured wow. as our Trushik. That's true. That was really good. That's a good point. That's a good point. We she went to Magical Girl High School too. Remember? That's true. That's true. You I'm did. We didn't have time to run the Trushik with the wig arc, unfortunately. <laughs> but I'm gonna stand on the opposite side of the room as I open the next door. It's actually a 17-year-old girl. Uh, with no offense, Raz, but are you oh. seriously taking the lead, Raz? No, opposite side of the room as they open the next door. Oh, like as proud. far oh, as I'm possible from here. the door. Well, as they open, I'm assuming distance. that door. Oh, I'm very proud of you. Because he opened an exploding oh. door before. Wow. I had to say this, but <laughs> I opened the exploding door and took no damage. <laughs> I had to say this, Raz, but uh, your daughter there, she's she's becoming a wee bit of a problem. Might have to. You know, talk some sense into her. I was big red. I'm saying, and not the way that you talk it into your family. Yeah, no, no killing, please. 
Um, I didn't say kid. I said can, maybe. Or hurting. We can just I need to give her, her a stern talking to her. Can I throw her into another dimension until she feels better about her actions? We could spook her. Yes, you could throw her into the maze, yes. Okay, good. <laughs> I mean, we're both pretty scary and motivating. So what's behind the door? <laughs> she, well, uh, I'm assuming no locks. We can remove no, the, the rods and the, the python no difficulties whatsoever. and open the door on the far left. Hiding behind where she's With well, everybody we're... preferably not directly near the potentially exploding door. No, we're nowhere near. We'll open the, left or, uh, the leftmost door, the leftmost door. The leftmost <laughs> left door. Left western together. It's just so cute. For left. <laughs> the leftmost door, uh, you see similar to what you'd see on the other side, but it appears to be about a 15-foot wide passageway uh, that proceeds down some few dozen feet. A very large uh, arc of this catacomb. Uh, back to the largely blank stone floor and walls. Although the walls are inscribed uh, with some sort of geometric, geometric, angular, sort of arcane carvings. Uh, they're not floor to ceiling and they're not like arcane script. They're not like spell writing specifically. Uh, but they are some strange, simple repeating designs that are far from filling the face of the wall. Um... Just breaking it up somewhat. Uh, before the passageway seems to open into a grandiose chamber beyond, at least grandiose to the uh, the right and the left. The ceiling never really seems to raise more than 12 feet above. Can I see the other side? Mm, you can uh, go out there. But... Well, like from where I am, can I see the far wall? Yes. yes. Okay. It's probably like 60, 70 feet out. <clears throat> I'm switching my exploration activity to, to recalling knowledge. This is how Raz calms down. From near south experience, he just thinks really hard. Well, seeking and sneaking, I'll move down to at least look left and right, see what is actually there. As you make your way down this passageway, you can see this opens up into a wide atrium uh, that, again, seems to span near a hundred feet around in either direction. Uh, a massive central passageway that seems to wrap around a chamber in the center that's maybe 30 or 40 feet wide. Uh, what well, looks to be just a massive pillar. So I, I can room. see the same thing that I saw earlier. And you can also definitely see that these two doors definitely lead to the same place. Okay. Uh, though when you peek through the other door, you could see there was a doorway on the right side of that passage where there is nothing matching that on this end. This passageway just leads out until it opens up in the strange rotunda. Mm -hmm. I apologize, podcast readers, a very strange design, a uh, strange floor plan okay. here. It's kind the of two hallways to just go to the exact same place. Two parallel place. hallways leading to the same uh, wrap around rotunda here. Just like was the there a third store. door? There was not a third door, no. The third door leads to the stairs. Okay. It came down, I guess. I, I thought there was a third one for some reason. Uh, but you can see as you come in that <laughs> there are some offshoots around the left side of this. Um, one immediately to your left as you open into this grander uh, rotating passageway that has no door or anything, just a small, single, a simple door sized path that leads into another room with torchlight within. All of these are similarly lit. And another passageway, a little further around, punctuated by an iron barred gateway. A, a small, single barred door, almost like what would be on the front of a jail cell. Oh, uh, that type of barred. punched in the center of the wall here. Um, from what you can see, just peeking at the end, the right side seems to bear no matching passageways. It seems to be blank stone, marred only by these geometric glyphs carved lightly into its surface uh, around the far side. <clears throat> okay, I'll, I'll go as far as that spreading forks. So yeah, I, I kind of think you're going to get this big nexus of directions and yeah. probably not go any further by yourself. So I'll, I'll come back in the other door from where I had left. <laughs> As it turns out, these are uh, exactly the same direction. Now the door you pass as you come back down the second parallel hallway to the rightmost door into that waiting chamber uh, does seem to be one of very stout steel. Uh, it's clearly more modern. This does not look like the doors to the vaults that you would see up above. This is something that you would put on like a bolt hole of some kind. A massive steel hatch set so soundly into the frame, the structure of the stone that makes up these catacombs itself. And that's where? Um, that's on the right side of this rightmost passage. Oh, there like is a door in that actual me. hallway. Okay. Literally right next to where your token is on the map at the moment, yeah. That would probably be the thing I bring them back to first then. And it would be pretty much immediately outside yeah. the right bus door. It's like 20 feet out right there. Don't want to leave anything behind us. Well, just for the sake of uh, security, perhaps you would all like to go back in the room and uh, stand around the corner. Mm, sounds like a good idea. Just to be safe. But notably, all these passageways here beyond this waiting chamber are huge. 
Um, the ceiling does probably rises up to about 15 feet or so rather than 12. It does get a bit more vaulted. Um, they're almost squared as they're 15 feet across. And again, this massive <laughs> path in the middle, even wider. These, you've squeezed through the relatively small passageways of the floor above, barely being able to walk single file in many cases. But these are massive tunnels. So Did large the... that we could even have huge marshals. You could huge marshal in here easily. Do the glyphs on the wall look like gibberish like they did upstairs, or do um, they actually... Are you seeking or coming knowledge? Seeking. I'm just trying to see if I see them. Give me an arcana check. Raz. Raz. I was pretty sure you are seeking. Uh, he thinky. I think he a lot. A 19 on the die. Nice. Um, 4d3. Uh, 43. As you look across them, they would be interesting. They don't look like they anything that would contain any sort of magic. These aren't sig- sigils, sigils that are going to like activate and explode the wall on you or summon more demons or anything. <sighs> they are more additive. Uh, they share a lot of commonalities with summoning circles. Um, they are not that, but it is a similar form. You see similar repeating patterns and bits of uh, arcane iconography that is many times repeated in these silvered floor circles often used for like demon or devil summoning. Uh, but these are kind of a broader focus. Uh, it's almost as if they would turn the pyramid itself into an assistive focus for powerful conjurations to contact other planes. Mm-hmm. So this is all just one big like diviner's tool, basically. It's the biggest telephone in Galarian. Mm. So. Mm. Well, with that knowledge, you would also know that perhaps a lesser known and more minor uh, facet of Katapesh's success here in the desert is that the city is placed at a fairly potent ley line convergence. Like, magic is really strong here in the capital city of Katapesh. Um, and seeing these glyphs and these carvings, these support structures underneath the pyramid, Starting to kind of put a couple pieces together as to why that old wizard might have built it here in the first place. It's all hmm. making sense. Makes more sense than Breacho. Excuse me. <laughs> Lord Lamond <laughs> Breacho <laughs> was an upstanding and righteous gentleman who was definitely a human. With shining yep. gold and eyes. made Breach Hill to help the struggling folk of the Isgari hinterlands live better lives. Yes. It says so right in the visitor center. It says so right in the visitor center. I mean, if <laughs> the soup says yeah. it's tasty. Well, that's in the rule book. That's, that's like... That's law. That's law. That's, that's cool rule book. Text. Yeah. So, Trishy, this door is fairly sturdy, and you can tell the lock that is mounted in it is extremely complex. There is not, there is not even a traditional door handle here. It is, it is only opened and closed via the key to this, uh, which is fairly far from mundane. Oh? You think you can stand to me, door? <laughs> Knock. How many uses that the other day? One. You've already used it. You, you definitely have. used it upstairs. Yeah, you did. Yep, you did. I used it upstairs. The, dub- the iron grate or the something. Iron, yeah, yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. I used it on the, the door. Yeah, but you, no, I couldn't have used it on the door. Because that you, wasn't an unlock check. That was you a, used it on the, Then it was the door to the vault itself. You 100% have cast knock in this pyramid already. I, you are. In, you have used it. That's gone. I'm 100% certain. Yeah, yeah used I remember it. you doing it. Yeah, nothing stopping yeah, you me from just knocking you on still, the door. I completely forgot that. <laughs> Well, then I'm just going to open it anyways. <laughs> He's trained his From whole life for this. So that anybody who might be waiting to attack comes out to them down the hallway and, so and the, me above the them. The ceiling here is a bit vaulted. The top of the door is only about halfway up the wall space here, so you could easily perch above it and kind of reach down and do some little claw thingies. It's the lizard. So that's going to be a 43. God, he's good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm legendary. Yep, I can see that. That <laughs> <laughs> would take you some effort, um, but not a great amount of effort. He is legendary. Even Sheik upside down. He's gotten pretty damn good at this by now. And uh, one final, very uh, victorious click later, you have the door latch undone. And it is able to swing outward. Then I'll wave everyone over. Good job. And now I disappear. Poof. 
gone while everyone else comes to approach. He's hiding. I've done my job. Good luck, team. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the breaching squad. That's you. I'm in you, position ready the... to reach in and rip someone's head off. You would reveal a uh, surprisingly kind of small chamber. Uh, small compared to the massive stature of most of these hallways here. It's only about 12 feet deep, but it's a fairly long rectangular room, maybe about 20 feet in length, with a much more standard height ceiling. You can't immediately tell if this is something that was added to the pyramid later in its construction, uh, or something that was... The door certainly was. ...simply repurposed. The door itself is certainly something that's been added in very recent years. But this room... Uh, boasts accoutrements comparable to the waiting chamber you've come through. A very lavish bed with fine silk sheets rests to your left, uh, nestled against the northern wall, running the full 12 feet uh, between here, uh, filling almost all of that space. Uh, and a chest of drawers, a writing desk, and a chair sit on the other side uh, with a small set of shelves. There is a another fine plush rug rolled throughout the floor beneath the desk and the furniture. The wooden furniture itself appears to be of exceptional make. Uh, this is relatively uh, well appointed. Money was spent here bringing these things down. It's the most well decorated prison cell I've ever seen in my life. And it's also very clearly a room that would really only comfortably fit uh, one, maybe two people. There's certainly only a single bed, mm. although it is quite a large one. Hmm. Does there look like there could be anything hidden anywhere? That's what seeking is for. Only a perception check. Who, um, you seeking. were seeking. Jashik's not in the room. Are you seeking or are you shield up? Someone needs me I'm, to go in. I'm probably still a little antsy. I can say I'm shield up. All right. So just resume then. Okay. It's going to be eight. If someone asks me to check out the room, I'll check it out. Otherwise, right. I'm watching down the hall for more people. Uh, it's 34. Uh, with the 34, as you look through, although there is not a lot here, uh, there's no signs that there's anything more than what is visible. Besides, there is a pretty impressive amount of things available to go through. At the moment, there's this uh, chest of drawers with a half dozen, uh, almost like a, a half wardrobe here in front of you, and there are a plethora of leather-bound journals. Anything under the carpet? The writing desk. Uh, Looking under the carpet reveals a stone floor, okay, uh, but otherwise nothing else in particular. Interest. I mean, that is a thing that is under the carpet. That's a thing. That is a Inside thing. the drawers, you find uh, quite a few, uh, probably ten different outfits of very fine make, uh, clearly higher end noblemen's uh, noblemen's outfits, hmm. uh, as well as one that looks very strikingly similar, almost identical to the one that you had seen Tregal wearing at the council meeting earlier oh, this day. yes, we're gonna TP his room. And the lower drawers contain another assortment of four or so much simpler sets of clothes uh, that are still well made, but not clearly not created to present extravagantly uh, things that one perhaps would work out in or uh, work outside. Um, Resume's gonna pull all the drawers out look under them, look behind them, dump all the clothes out, look through them. Oh, Mr. Sheik, it looks like Resume is going to try to take a page out of your book in there. Is Resume sure okay? He'll put a... It's just stress, I'm sure. I'll watch the door. Uh, Roisin will join you. If uh, anyone has any uh, scrapes or burns or anything like that, if they want to cut some strips out of that silk, that's pretty good for it. It's a bit of a waste, isn't it? I got taters, we're good. I'll, uh... Go into the room and take a look around. As you come in the room, as Resume is losing her mind over <laughs> fine men's clothes here. Uh, what will catch your attention certainly would be the journals and tomes upon the writing desk. Um, one of which is centered in the desk as if it had just been left there, just closed recently. On the cover, does it have my evil plans? <laughs> uh, it does definitely say uh, it's the uh, the diary of Etrix Treagle's Grand Schemes, Volume 3. Does That's exactly have... what I have written on the front of my journal. <laughs> <laughs> does he Do have day me... of the week underwear? Uh, he would not, no. Do you want me to make a perception check? or? Well, as you come in here, I mean, these journals are going to take nothing yeah. to find. Uh, and looking through them, while well, a pair of them appear to be business ledgers that have dealt with a lot of the various accounting of some of the Scarlet Triad's higher end business. Some of the things that perhaps our glorious head and CEO has seen fit to deal with personally, or at least wanted to ensure wasn't really made 
publicly available knowledge. Mm. The other three are, in fact, personal logs. Clearly, a Vetrix Trigo. You know what I'm going to do with those? Set them on fire immediately. I'm going to hand them to Raz. Raz is going to read them. A book would put it in his hands. And he's going to rip the pages out. <laughs> <laughs> Looking through this, you do find a wealth of information about the adventures of one Etrix Dregal. You got three tomes here, one of which is much more focused on his personal notes, observations, and struggles to grow the Scarlet Triad within Katapesh. Uh, and it looks like it's been a work of about 12 years based on the dating of the first entry from his first attempts to move and become established here, chartering ships, trying to organize movement of people and material uh, to the acquisition of the Red Pyramid just under two years ago. They've had this quite recently. Uh, much of the latter pages of this is devoted to them relocating their operation here, but does detail several interesting discoveries and problems they ran into. Uh, you can find Tregal's personal account of their attempt to look into the vault upstairs, mm. um, where he ended up deciding that whatever was in there, it certainly didn't seem worth the effort after he'd already lost one man to the two oozes <laughs> <laughs> that were inside. The two oozes. Ah. <laughs> I get it. Nothing can stop you. And there was nothing that they could really, nothing they could really spare. What's surprising to you, reading through that one, is that in all of the success that the Scarlet Triad seems to have found here, how effective they are, how, how widespread they've become. They really suck Trigal at door puzzles. is continually, clearly dis almost distraught, stressed about a lack of resources. Uh, the way you would read his words here, if you'd never seen the Scarlet Triad, he would be a struggling kebab stand on the corner who barely had two gold pieces to bang together. But you've seen what they have. They're extremely well appointed. We, we have it now. Yeah, you, uh, <laughs> well, not anymore. As you've taken most of it at this point. We've been were. directly funded by the Scarlet Triad. Um, he speaks as if manpower, personnel, and wealth to fund these things is an exceptional short supply. Um, in several cases of organizing this operation, seeming to show a hint of distress about having to resort to slave labor to accomplish what has to be done. Got over that real quick, didn't he? There is definitely a one consistent thread under this journal, which is the absolute confidence that Tregal has in what he's doing um, and what his end goal is. The other two tomes are more about his beginnings before Katapesh and his operations outside of it. Which do you want to read first? I'll take one if you want to take the other. Well, Raz is reading. He's actually just correcting grammar. Just has a pinch correct There would grammar. not be much to much to correct. It would be He'll in a fine find, hand and fantastically well written. Fine things to correct. Oxford commas. <laughs> but I have got Oxford commas. I'll, this is outdated way of saying dangles this dangles not a single participle. He, uh, this is outdated. You shouldn't. You shouldn't write it that way. That's a style guide. That's not grammar. <laughs> Find a reason to be upset, sir. But which? And he stole um, my daughter. Which one are you more interested in? Uh, Here, take this one. Okay. I just hand her one. As soon as I handed those over, I'm back in the hallway. Yeah, looking. Stop. All right. Well, if there's no Me. particular interest in the order. I'll say Raz ends up with his uh, his history before here. The beginnings of the Scarlet Triad, as you start reading through these much older elder entries uh, two, two and a half decades past, are not of his operations in Katapesh. They are not of his operations really properly within the inner sea regions. They are his operations from the Isle of Hermea, as the leader of the agents of Hermea, serving directly under the gold dragon Mentare. Edric Striegel was selected by Menkare to oh expand God. the operation of the agents into the inner seas and into Avistan. Uh, he was selected by the gold dragon personally as the paragon of humanity, the perfect human form. In body, in mind, he 
was the one who would go for it and find others who were worthy to come live, to grow, and to further build the city of promise upon the island. Are we the baddies? No, no, he's, no told, he's still, yeah, well, I mean, also it's, he's a slaver. <laughs> Even if all of this was true, Trisha wouldn't care. I see a chaos elemental without hero points. This will not do. Spend wildly, <laughs> do dumb stuff, handsome gankers got you. But as you keep reading... Um, I didn't even have to look at the chat. You said chaos elemental. I knew that was for me. As you keep reading, um, it does not immediately move to Katapesh. As uh, his operation, the agents of Hermea came forth uh, into their own... Oh, well, the agents of Hermea's, Makara's operation came forth into their own. They went forth into Aviston to make contact, to really be like talent scouts functionally, to find the best of the best from all nations that humanity had to offer. Other paragons, they called them, other pinnacles. Um, they renamed themselves the Scarlet Triad for the three pillars of power that this uh, organization would have. Menkare, the City of Promise itself, and Etrick Street. And uh, the Scarlets being a part of the iconography of the City of Promise, largely representing the setting sun behind the golden walls. Scarlet Triad came forth and spent his first years uh, not finding much to his liking. He traveled, he visited places. Uh, there were people who were fine, or folk who were kind. Uh, there was nobody he really immediately found worthy of immigration to Hermea. Their standards are divinely high. They, if what is your society? Proficiency. Um, proficiency. I am a I am master in society. Hermea is a place you maybe would have heard of as a completely isolated island community that has near no contact from the outside world. And with your you know, personal studies in the Dragon Storm, you would know the Gold Dragon and Karya rules it. But that's pretty much it. This would literally be the first you've ever heard of anybody immigrating to Hermea and to Promise at all. You thought it was a completely closed society beforehand. As you continued, he begins to express frustrations and difficulties that he has difficulties with support. He doesn't have the supply or the coin to travel and search as he should. He bemoans Menkare becoming more and more consumed with his glorious endeavor, with his own machinations and turning his gaze back inward to promise and forsaking him, the triad, and the rest of the world. Striegel didn't like this. Striegel knew there were certainly other people out here who were worthy of the city of promise, of the gilded walls. He just hadn't found them yet. But expressing his frustration as he continued, he kept at his search for near a decade, but clearly becomes more and more incensed with Menkare's absence, completely ignoring him. Uh, so several of these entries become a little more than just like rants, really. Yes. Has daddy issues. Well, he's not mm. happy about it, that's for sure. Mm. Eventually, he mentions starting to write to a contact back in Promise about a contingency, expressing that Minkari has lost sight of what the city was about. He has become so consumed with his own personal experiments that he has abandoned the Paragons and the Promise it stood for. This glorious endeavor was pointless. And almost immediately afterward, he learns of Dahak and also his ring. Now, whoever he's talking to back in Promise had informed him near immediately of the purpose of the glorious endeavor. Why Minkari felt he needed to commit everything. Because if Dahak is unleashed, the world will plunge into an age of ashes. And there will be no return. But still, this didn't stop Tregal and his compatriot at all, this only spurred them further, as Menkare had spent at this point years fruitlessly toiling at this glorious endeavor, making no progress whatsoever. He decided that if the city had to, if the world had to stand against a god, it would need their best. And so the Scarlet Triad turned fully from the agents of Hermea to its own end, reassembling the orb. 
His plans are fairly plain here, his goals originally anyway. He spent years and months locating many fragments of the orb, collecting them uh, at great, great cost in some cases, both of coin and of lives, to amass them at a base that he would structure somewhere centralized, somewhere that he could operate freely, somewhere that no one would really look further at the true purposes of the triad. And that is when he decided to move the operation to Katapesh. He would find more of this and the other journal about his work outside, more of his uh, ambitious ploys to reveal and discover more and more of shards of this orb and how he slowly accumulated them bit the warehouse. <laughs> The freaking orb was just sitting in a warehouse in the dock in Katapesh for years. Sounds about right. As he didn't know what to do with them. He is not a man terribly enlightened in magic. He hired a retinue of some of the finest mages he could find or take throughout the inner seas and convert to his cause here, but they were somewhat at a loss as well. It wasn't until his correspondent in Hermea, back in Promise, gave him an idea that the project really moved forward. They were never going to have all the pieces of the orb. It was impossible. They could not simply <laughs> fill in the rest with glass or gold and make it function. They needed something that would attune properly to the magic within. His contact had found a cult deep within the jungles of the Mongi Expanse would come upon a massive trove of powerfully infused gold. Fraught with Dehawk's own essence. Oh, God. So he reached out. He details his operation for the Cinder Claws. His contacts with them. As he uh, snidely boasts how easily they were parted with wealth beyond their understanding, power they could never even grasp as they shipped loads of this gold to Katapesh to repair the orb. He mentions reaching out to uh, to uh, Milk of the Jewel Masters Guild here in Katapesh as he knew he needed the best to still to make this function with physical craft as well but he couldn't give her details if she wouldn't agree to his plan. Would not. At this point, the triad had long since defended into sla uh, descended into slavery, both to fund its operations as a painful necessity, as Treagle put it. They needed manpower, and they needed money. They needed to save the world. There was no other chance. Menkare was lost. When she refused, he made her acquiesce. Of all the things in here, him acting directly against another guildmaster of Katapesh seems to be the one he holds the most trepidation for. He did not want to do that. But he had to. And between her and the power of the Phoenix Forge beneath the Red Pyramid, they were able to finally repair the orb. Him and his plan through uh, your journal here of his outside works with his correspondent and promise is pretty clear. He completes the orb. He brings it to promise. They use it to control Menkare and take over the city. And promise stands as the last bastion of humanity against the ensuing flames and also his reign. He expresses that it is quite annoying that he can't use this trinket to take the short route to promise quite yet. And repeatedly, repeatedly expresses frustration that he can't just kill you guys. Not because he's incapable, but because the Triad's operations cannot get Mankari's attention. He cannot notice what is happening in Katapesh. Everything he's done, he is forced to keep as subtle as he can. He wishes months ago he could have just sent a team to kill the group of you. But after the renown you've gathered, after everything you've done, there wasn't a way to do it simply and quietly. At his last couple 
of entries. Mentioned once Mankari has fallen into line, no longer need to worry about what he'll think about the use of Alcida's ring and the fate of Breachill. And even the heroes using it should be fine targets. Ensuring his correspondent will have the group of you killed as soon as the orb is complete and Minkari is under their sway. Uh. So yes, it is my evil plan. Yeah. <laughs> Volume one. Yeah. Two and three. So, couple of questions. Uh, just I'm looking sure. looking through this, um, she's still not sure why he went from I found a hawk and the rings of Elsetta. It's been here for a million years and nobody's bothered with it. And the dark. He Lord... didn't find that. His correspondent and promise told him all of that. Right. They but, clearly knew this all already. Right. But how did he get from there to it's going to end the world? I have to do something about it. It's just been chilling for thousands of years. Nobody was knew well, where it was. Well, that seems to be what Mankare thinks. And okay. uh, that seems to be what has kept Mankare so distracted. But after he has refused to assist the Scarlet Triad with their possible way of preventing this, they uh, kind of gave up on Minkare. Uh, they even expressed some concerns that the dragon may have lost his sanity in this, being unable to detangle his personal connection from the world's end, he says at one point. Uh, and as it comes into later stages of his plan to reassemble the orb to... Uh, collect gold and manpower from Kentargo with uh, Varus overseeing those operations. Um, really chose bad there. You you see that uh, Emberbeard was sent to Kavler to retrieve two shards of the orb that Strymalura had in her hoard. Mm. She had already traded for and sent back before you arrived. Having offered Kavler itself in trade. So you just don't get to know any of this if you don't have a legendary thief. Well, I mean, you could also come just, in here when you have the key later. I, I could also I'm just there. disintegrate the door. There are plenty of ways. If 17 people <laughs> party gang in this room, I can't I help I could you. also remove the door. Many ways to remove That'd the probably, door. Probably be a little difficult. It is. I a literally don't think you can. I do not think you can. Even though I'm legendary and uh, strongman stuff? You can sure try and hit the break threshold. It's 60. Uh, if you can get a 60 on athletics, you can break it down. Oh, I don't think. That is a bank vault door. 50 with a nat oh. 20. 50 with a nat 20. Can you get a nat 20 on a 50? I or would you 50, get 50 on a nat 20? It's a 51. That's so not then a nat 20. On a nat, on a nat 20, 20, you, you would do it. do it. You would need a nat 20, but you could. It is way easier to just open You it. could also disintegrate it. The lock is much easier than forcing it. Yeah. Mm. Um, but a lot of things coming together now. Yeah. Does it say anything about who his contact is? Name? Anything? He's very specific to avoid two bits of information. He does not name or identify his contact, and he does not mention beyond the orb what this artifact he's speaking of is. Though well, at this point, ironically, surely, thanks to Raz, we already know what it is. Group of you can put that one. He's been giving us lectures on it. Raz's been lecturing you on it. For, by the way, not planned. <laughs> not no, planned. not planned at all. This is hysterical. Of all of the things in Galarian lore to just spout out bardic rants about, this man just picked. The orbs of dragon kind and the Talden dragon storms, just because he thought it was interesting. Not planned at all. He's I been smart. pondering his orb for days. But you see, this operation has been <laughs> just beyond extensive, extending uh, again all the way up to Cobbler and Kintargo, uh, hiring a team of magi overseen by Brazak Varashma, who spent some time using the <laughs> amplifying power of the Red Pyramid to summon a massive cadre of various demons. Uh, to help protect their operations uh, here and in Kentargo, and making contact with others who they could barter with uh, to attempt to expand their own resources. So his grand plan to save the world is to let the whole world burn except for promise? The plan, his end of it, is to put the orb back together, take it to promise, take control of Minkare and his contact will handle it from there. This is a puppet. Ah, uh, he sounds like an idiot. Yeah, he is a puppet. He sounds like a level three fighter. He, he looks like a level three fighter. He believes seemingly that Minkare like and the combined minds and forces of promise certainly have the power to either permanently seal 
permanently destroy or just remove all Soda's ring is a problem. Um, mentioning those worthless elves figured this out millennia ago with sticks and mud. We have their magic and our power. Wow. We can handle it easily. He okay. built this in a cave with rocks. <laughs> 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 Referring almost certainly to the Echo Giant, which is before you two were here. I yeah. told uh, you there was a dragon in there. I have nothing else. This surely confirms there's a dragon. It also does <laughs> ring. Also, it's God. <laughs> it's a dragon god. Who? It was not delusional. I think you actually had a I think you, your way of thinking when we all had that vision. I think you are delusional, just not about, about that. I mean, maybe. You were um, hearing whispers. You're yeah. also tearing through the wardrobe and chest of drawers. Well, yeah. What if he was hiding something? Pain In his underwear drawer? <laughs> I mean, that's where women hide their stuff. He's hiding the extra small condoms. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the perfect f human specimen in all <laughs> ways but one. <laughs> no, they're oh just boy. for his beard. No, be so, that's awful. Shut up. Shut uh, up. Uh, uh, <laughs> um, anyway, we're moving on. You let him open his mouth again. Mistake every time. Every, every time. time. So let me get this straight. There's a lot more information here. So like, if you have more, it's three, uh, five full journals of information. So like, if you have questions, like you are spending some time here. At this point, you've probably been here for about ten minutes. Um, if you want to search for more information, another 10 minutes of these journals, yeah. I could answer more questions for you, but you've been here for a while. Like. Yeah, I'm going to search for more stuff because this answers some questions Speedy. and certainly not others. Foresight. Still up? It lasts an hour. It's an hour. Okay. Yeah, you cast it upstairs before. You yeah. probably like 20 minutes left. Huh? Okay. Uh, I mean, what more do we need to know? To this information, um, I know what I'm going to say to I him would, when I reveal my conditions. I would really like to know <laughs> why the heck... Mankari and whoever the heck thinks this is thinks that Alceta's ring is the key to all of this because we've been going inside and outside those gates and my dream, which is definitely not a dream or a vision, told me that opening and closing Alceta's ring was part of the way you unlocked the seal and I would very much like to understand how that works before we do it again. Well, Edrix certainly does not seem to have a full understanding of that side of things. Um, that seems to much, much more be his correspondence end. In fact, again, he didn't know about it until they informed him. Uh, what he seems to know is that also his ring obviously is a ring of portals to which they have spent as much time and expense gathering the keys as they have the shards of the orb uh, to be able to use it later. Um, and he knows that you are using it actively and seems to express uh, in many places uh, irritation. He can't simply use it as well to make a lot of his things go faster. So he doesn't seem to see any problem with simply walking through it all willy-nilly-like. Uh, but he does know that the Ekajai have Dehok sealed within there somehow, though the specifics of that are not something that will be covered in the journals. Um, hey, Raz. Can we make a phone call? Huh? Like, do that sleep thing you do? It's now really the time. Well, if we want to call the Echo Giant and ask them how the heck they locked a hawk in, it can, might be a good idea. Can I wait till tomorrow? You know, none of them are actually alive at the moment. That, that, that's just, this is they their descendants. They have certainly told you. Uh, literally, the story Nikita told back at the feast was the legend of the old warriors. Right, of but like, now that we have some more details. That was also literally a legend she was telling like a group of children in the party. Yeah, so, like, exactly. <laughs> so maybe the elders might know something different because we never talked to them about it. No, uh, I Rez can't. Me. Rez doesn't know them. I don't know them either. He knows Nikita, and well, that's it. No, Rez, me, that is a fantastic well, he knows idea Rinaldi, I guess. for us to do when we're not in a. Nikita's my best friend. I know. Base. Yes, let, let us say it's our curiosity. Friendship once we're safely out here in one piece. Now, Nikita curiosity. is my best friend. We, um, we have the books, we have the information. Hold on to it. Page out of a book. We will get our answers and, tomorrow. And, and then maybe, maybe one more thing. One more thing I want to try, though. Um. So one more thing, one more thing she will try. Um, so she does have her uh, ancestral memories. Okay. She is a descendant of worshippers of Alceta. This is literally who her family has been for aeons and aeons. And the last time I used it on this, I was only trained, but now it's heightened. So I'm an expert. So if there was something, and I have, I am 
trained in lore Alceta's ring. And Don't worry, I'm pulling out book six. I can also help. Too, so if cause... maybe putting his information together with what I know about Alceta's ring, we could get lore. some clue. Right. Bardic lore of Skier Elven Rings. Mm -hmm. You probably actually have Bardic lore Alceta's ring from what Resme has told you. <laughs> Everything I know is just what she knows. Yeah. This is, the rest of it is just like made up. Who the heck? I have my muses talking you, to me constantly. Super ready. Yeah, mu muses. That's what those are. Mm -hmm. this, definitely not me. Definitely not the too. screaming of the souls of the departed. Or just what they off. sound like. Oh, That's yeah. right behind you. Like Mr. But Clean? Mm -hmm. So it's not my problem. You know what? <laughs> problem. I'd hate to be that guy. That guy sucks. All right. Uh, make me. Uh, Arcana check, I suppose. This is religion. So, well, it's this. This is a religion check. Made a religion check. Religion. Hmm. God. Yeah, that makes sense. So Arcana. That's not what the feat says. Yeah, it is. It is not. The feat is says. Is this a skill based check? It is not. It is not determined by magical tradition. It is a religion check. Any. Skill based check. Determined by magical tradition. This is not that. This is a religion this check. This is what do you know about a god? What do you know about God? Can I use my al can I can I use the lore known by my ancestor at expert because that's what it says I can do? I mean, if the thing gives you expert religion, then yeah, yeah, you, then, yeah you can obviously you're rolling religion. You can use yeah, whatever that replies to religion okay. with the ancestor memories. Great. You can just make it give you expert religion, and you're good to go. Whee! Yeah, that feat does not in, in fact say remove the religion, occult, and nature skills from the game. No, I know <laughs> that. <laughs> I, th I, I kind of thought it did. It is like anything that's magical tradition based. You can I mean, use our It is a legendary Because those are like, feet. yeah, it, it obsoletes them for anything mm -hmm. magical tradition related. Yeah. Um, uh, but it does not remove like you wouldn't use arcana to identify an animal. You'd still need nature for that. So. Gotcha. That's a scientific name. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know anything about Barris it. Barris Maximus. maximus. Yeah. <laughs> it means large bear. <laughs> that's all you know. <laughs> you know the arcane study. You know the My Latin favorite term. bear is one that like has like horribless or terribleless in the name or something. <laughs> uh, are you assisting or are you going to do your own role? Ursa. Brad wants to use bardic war. Okay. Okay, you'll do yours later. What do you got? Yeah. Uh, thirty-five. Well, thirty-five. Don't worry, Roshin's just whistling in the hallway. There's mm -hmm. definitely nothing you can glean from these, or even your ancestral memories thinking back that is new that you would not have been able to learn while you were with the Ekajai back in the Longy Expanse. Okay. Um, they did tell you a good amount there. You you know, both obviously the the, the fable it's become, but a little more of the the actual thing. That the Ekajai had sacrificed a great number of their greatest heroes and conjurers to banish Dahak inside Alcida's ring. Oh my God! But this was like literally thousands of years ago, and like any specifics as to what inside Alcida's ring means or how they did it. It has long since lost the time. Maybe that's why they're gathering up people to sacrifice. Simple. We just Most of the slaves they've collected, they have either sold or uh, pressed into work. They Those that did not have active, actionable skills, they did simply liquidate. Right. Um, so they're not amassing a human sacrifice pile in the period but here. But we simple. know for a fact that that is part of what they're doing. That's what... Um, uh, Emberbeard told us that they are gathering people to sacrifice to keep Dahak from breaking free. So it's a pretty short leap now that I know that they Fair. sacrificed people in the circle to thinking that that's what maybe they're trying to do. Why don't we go with the simplest solution and just kill God? <laughs> just kill him. I mean, Attack and destroy God. Just roll 20. I mean, that's every JRPG, so. <laughs> yeah. We're yeah. at that point now. <laughs> <laughs> 70 level, lads. Right, give me that Bardic Lore check. Bardic Lore. You found the exposition room. No. Bardic Lore this. Um, for a total of 41. For the 41, you would know from your own, because also I can use this to catch, you know, you two, the players that weren't here up. Also, this ring is one of the oldest of its kind. Ayudari used to interlink all of the Elven Kingdoms in a variety of ways, um, and they weren't all necessarily dedicated to Alceta beyond that Alceta as the god of like doors and passageways. So they were dedicated to her like a bar is dedicated to Caden Kalian. Like, sure, that's his purview, but it's not a 
necessarily religious endeavor to create them uh, in and of itself. That said, all set as ring obviously is literally called that. Um, and you would even know the name of its ancient creator as this would be uh, not a major, but a part of elven history. There's certainly not forgotten Candelarin, um, the progenitor of in many ways, all modern teleportation magic. Uh, when once these gateways could not simply be connected to each other, magic and science had not progressed that far yet and had to functionally be interlinked through a transitory plane, um, through an extra planar realm that tied the two gateways together, which are the way stations that you pass through each time you go somewhere. My hmm. mom named her horse after... Oh, never mind. That explains a lot. Well, this isn't getting Treagle dead. Um, <laughs> all right. This isn't killing Treagle. Well, I think we've Just gotten all we, all we can here. another page out of his personal journals. But uh, put the journals away so Raz can't tear at them anymore. Oh, this one's really incriminating. <laughs> um... <clears throat> Grab a piece of his clothing just in case I need a link to him later. Sock, bag. <laughs> uh, if there's any hair or anything else I can find around, I'm grabbing that too. Uh, it would weird. certainly not be impossible. Yeah. This uh, very much appears to be the place that Treagle sleeps. Like if he has and, a comb, uh, if yeah, he has an anything. Uh, there would either. A, there would be uh, yeah. an entire beard trimming kit. <laughs> well, and just like an examination of his bed and the pillow would yeah. certainly reveal some hairs. He has not I, taken pains think, to hide all of the DNA evidence huh, in the bed. What a perfect sleeps, human so. he is. I think, I think she has a crush on Treagle. No. Over there sniffing his pillow. I'm fine. <laughs> <Perfect. laughs> no. I'm getting angry. Smells like perfection. Oh, God. I'm just getting angry. Smells like ass. I'm just getting madder and madder. And, oh, I hate him. Marshall is just going to continue <laughs> down, down the hallway and him. ignore all of this. <laughs> You're so bad. How so evil. This man slept with an elf. His children would just be full blooded humans. He's that potent. <laughs> wow. Uh, okay. Could sleep with a halfling and his kids would be 6'4. <laughs> I'm really disturbed. The perfect human specimen. It I, says so right here. I in the really, book. Sh I really, I really <laughs> think Menkare was aiming low. Maybe Menkare stopped talking to him for a reason. Internal, There's a reason. In the intervening years so since good. the Scarlet Triad has become an arm of Hermea and a recruitment team for Promise to what it is now. I've got it. They're like, okay, Trigal, you're the best of everyone. So I need you to go far away <laughs> to the other side of the planet and find people who are as good or better than you and don't come back till you do. He does Bye. seem to have, Oh God, I hated that guy. Seem to have succumbed a little bit over the ensuing <laughs> years to uh, certainly a bit of protagonist syndrome even comes to in his writing. He very much sees himself as the hero of mankind, as the hero of Galarian. All right, well, after I get some arcane links, I'm good to go. Physically, he's a fantastic specimen. He's just an ass. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look at his, the way he does his hair and his, his beard. Like, you could just tell looking at him. Just throw him out into Grillarian. Some boo of heroes will find that face so punchable they'll take him out for us. Turns out so many did, he's level 20 or something. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they came at him in ascending order. All right. <laughs> so which way are we going? Um, Heading back this main passageway here, you can see isn't again there a this great to the right. Wide, uh, strange, almost this rotunda passageway around this huge central column, which is nearly squared save for a, uh, a chunk taken out of each corner uh, at right angles at odds to the uh, oblique corners of the room itself. You think the Phoenix Farge might be inside that thing? The right side of this room has nothing no doorways, no passages, no anything. The left side uh, has a hallway jutting off to the south, again, this iron grated door a little further up, and a massive um, carved wooden door at the northwestern corner. You could also see, as you look around the corner, that the opposite end from the two parallel hallways you'd entered from in the south are matched by a 15 foot wide corridor, continuing on yet further to the north. There are a plethora of ways you can proceed from here. From this southern end, you, the central pillar appears to be largely just that, a carved structural pillar. Uh, though these arcane glyphs, these supportive runes of summoning, 
are much more dense and near floor to ceiling on the central structure. It's possible this is that thing you were talking about for a... What was it? Communicating? Yeah, sure. Well, whatever the... Are we going right or left? What's in that passage over there? I don't know. I have not looked. I've come in here and told you it was safe. Oh. Uh, it, it, it seems like this is some sort of central room. It can't just be one giant weight-bearing pillar. Although we're quite far down, it could be. I think it is. And as you're speaking, you would hear a movement from that passageway down to the left. Uh, that open hallway. Uh, clearly a shuffling of some kind before a small glint of an arrowhead comes around the corner, already you, knocked. You really don't want to do this, Well, please. that's very furtive, isn't it? Uh, Need the group of you to roll me some initiative, friends. You couldn't just wait what would you for like us to walk to into the room? Um, are you sneaking? I'd, You're talking to everyone. Probably perception for this one. I mean, does talking stop me from sneaking? Well, it kind of makes it very obvious where you are. You are literally like mid-conversation. Like the voices are in this I mean, main passageway is what got them to come You're legendary in perception. I, I do perception on this one. My heart's you not in it. I'm not going to battle. I'm not going to call to arms. I'm just completely My heart's off guard. not in it either. I'm just completely off guard. Why would they ambush us? We're just here having a nice conversation. Making our, we're, we're minding our own business. We're minding our own business. Minding your own business. That's the thing that you're doing. Oh, Treagle is our business. That's fair. Marsh. 39. Go ahead and put you over here. Uh, Trishik. 42. Resume? 35. What happened? I, I rolled a five. Call, I didn't call the arms. Uh, no, call the arms. That's a high. big difference. Yeah. Machine. Uh, it's uh, 36. Sorry, I rolled a three. Dude, you also got a plus one for my scout. Right. I counted it. I know, I okay. counted it. 36. Okay. I'm going before Roshin. Okay. So 34, 35, 36, 37. Uh, 39. Declare yourself an 39, sorry, 42. <laughs> yeah. I, I heard the party enough. <laughs> oh, no. I heard the party enough. Well, I rolled an eight. Just wall of stone. They're trapped in that room forever. What <laughs> <laughs> the heck? I mean. Oh, they are. Okay, and the archer in the doorway here. 39. Oh, what a shame. Just gonna put him right there. And I, I heard him you... draw the string back. You did. <laughs> oh, Legendary sorry. give you this. And then there was a second figure you can see moving about in that room there. Oh my God, is it the twins? With a 34, which is, you guess what you got, right? Did you get 34? 35. 35? Yeah, and I got 36. Okay, right. So, right there. Wow. Chic. It's a spread of sadness. Yeah, this is the same thing, but lower. <laughs> <laughs> you hear them, Trishik? You hear this bow. You literally hear the bowstring draw. And I turn hear your the bowstring draw. This. Mid conversation, snap. I'm back over in that corner, sneaking into the room. So, I move over to the corner beside the entryway, out of sight. Sneak, sneak back into in. the room. Nice. I'm leaving us one action remaining. Up on the ceiling, if I can be. Uh, the inside of there is probably about a traditional. Like, it's actually a little bit larger. Yeah, you could be on the ceiling. You won't be able to easily like climb over people, but you could no. certainly. The be The point on the is, ceiling. it's scary when I reveal myself. That's true. And as you come to the room here, you can see that this is about a 15 foot square chamber, uh, which is sectioned off to the west and the south, simply with curtains. Uh, Against the northern wall is a low wooden uh, bit of furniture with a few basins in it filled with water, some simple cleaning supplies atop, and a door next to them on the left further into the chamber. Uh, but as you come in, you can see there is the archer looking on the corner, and there is what appears to be a tiefling wizard behind him. Can I get a thing for the wizard? Yes. These are just the cleaning staff. Tiefling wizard. These are just the janitors. Uh, third action... I guess is going to be to point them out uh, telepathically to Resume. Fair enough. Okay. Do that. So you know the, roughly the size of the room and where they are. Cool. And the archer looking out into the room here sees full plate and shield, robes, tiny rat, breastplate. Tiny rat wearing leather. Leather. Instead of leather. Mm, there is only robes. one person here wearing normal clothing. 
Yeah, well, two, gotta, but they can't see me. You know, take the shot. The person not wearing armor because, you know, give now, the one in the dress. This is a tried is and true adage for RPG true combat. True Is that. she flat-footed Sorry. because I warned her about the presence? <laughs> yes. Oh. Well, I mean, no, because she's not a player character Wait, rogue who has you, the player you know character what I was rogue saying. ability. Like, You've literally does seen she know since the fight started. Yeah, but does she know this is coming? Because it's going to hurt. We rolled initiative because we I saw know. it coming. No, I saw it coming. <laughs> I heard it coming. <laughs> I'm gonna murder you. What's your I perception you. DC? Me? Yep. Uh. Does that just perception plus, plus 10? 10? Yep. Do I add my bonuses to it that no. I get? Well, 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 what bonus? Like, I get. Drake Hart probably applies. If it's applies. just a straight item bonus to perception, then yeah. If yeah, it's Drake Hart applies. Yeah. So nothing else no. does, I don't think. Okay, uh, then it's gonna be a uh, 30, uh, 38. Okay, 38. You would absolutely see this shot coming. Whoa. Trying to escape. It's running for its life. 50! <laughs> Please don't hit me. Not against your flat footed, though. Not against my flat footed, which is always a good thing. Still a crit, though. It is still going to be a crit. Mm. No reaction hurts. No reaction does hurt. No reaction does mm. Okay. Can you hit this? you with a ballista? Give me this. All right, so that's going to be... Hey, you don't get stuff. sneak attack because you weren't flat-footed, <laughs> so that's cool. That is cool. That's pretty good. I'll take less damage. Less damage double. 49 okay. points of piercing it damage. It makes a significant It makes a significant difference. From this hit. Yeah, it would have been a lot worse if there were way more sneak attack dice in there. Um, and then after that shot, you're going to see this bow kind of pull back against the corner as the wielder presses herself back into cover. They have greater cover from that uh, passageway right now. Marshall. But not from me. Oh, you're in the hand. And you're in the mm. room with your little hands. Well, so. since little I hands. can't exactly get in range of them, I will have just uh, take two actions to get right about where the doorway is. Okay, but like not outside the doorway. Right outside the doorway, yep. And then um, I'll just get mad, and that'll be my turn for now. Outside, and he's upset. Rez. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm outside. All right, upset. cool. So, Rishi, remember that? Da -da 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 I want you to do that, and I want Marshall to do that. I'm going to say Allegro both of them, harmonize composition. Oh. Can it be the same composition twice? It's composition. I can look it up. Fair enough. Yeah, but... if there's no, if it doesn't take like focus points, there's nothing that says you can't, then you can't. Yep. So, and he's within 30, right? I counted twice. Within 30, yeah. yeah, it should be. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so both of you have Allegro. I'm going to give it since you know Allegro. I'm going to hand out more. Okie dokie, Roshin. Thank you, sir. All right. We. Roshin's gonna see Resme taking arrow, and her eyes are gonna get very stern. Um, and she's just sort of going to, again, uh, it looks like almost like she's falling towards the fight um, as red, red energy trails from her feet as she rushes forward. Uh, a focus point will put me into athletic rush, which is going to give me a 10 foot status bonus to speed. Um, and she's going to take her Allegro stride and another stride to close with the, where she saw the rogue. Welcome to the room. Boom. Um, since I'm right next to her, I take it there's no cover there, right? Uh, definitely not. No, you've come around the cover. Oh, no. You're going to join the others that's scared to death. <laughs> what? Who? Who's the others? <laughs> In the other rooms and the two floors above us, the giant bag and in the other of continents, all of the, uh, manacles. That's very that specific. The bag of manacles, really. Um, intimidate is uh, can't have a natural one on an intimidate. Like I said, who's the others? Spend that. Booga booga booga. <laughs> You're gonna join the. <laughs> I got Swallow it. Try that again. These room comes back. The fungus in. coming back to haunt you. That's, <laughs> uh, that's decent. Uh, that's going to be a forty-two. Will rarely succeed. So frightened two, I believe, correct? Uh, yes, frightened the two. Archer. Yes. And final action is gonna be to bring that sword down. Whack. That's whack, bro. Hmm. Well, that's terrible. Uh, that's a uh, thirty. Yeah, thirty. Not gonna do it. Yeah. No, that's gonna be a, a negative Ghost Rider. Sorry. He tried. It's all right. Curse becomes happy. Curse is happy. If Curse is happy, we're happy. Resume. I'm just not sad. Your health bar is happy. I'm getting really tired of this. And uh, she'll touch herself, and for the second time today, she will go invisible. Go. Um, 
Great. And then I'm, by myself. I'm going to uh, oh, no, move no, no, no. up so that I at least have line of sight to what's happening in that room. Should I decide I want to do anything? So like up to the corner of the pillar in the center, yeah. as you can and see. Yeah, and I'm sneaking. So if that means I move slower, that's the totally... Half speed. Yeah, I'm moving at half speed, and, and that's fine. So I'm going to take two actions to move at half speed. Well, you took two actions to turn into... Oh, one action, One action, action yeah. armor. All right, so you're going to get up to the corner of the corner of the central pillar, I imagine, not literally immediately outside the door. Yeah. Please punch me a stand. That's fine. Um, Please don't punch me a stand. It's a bad place to go. It's a terrible <laughs> vacation. Been there. Really. You would need to sneak. I know, that's what I'm doing. That's what doing. Well, not like roll it. You, I know oh, that, you actually have to roll it. That's yeah, true. I know. That's what I was saying. Oh, well, it's, it's actually, not, it's, a, it's a secret yeah, roll. It's it not matters roll for you because you can literally you. fail. Sure. What's your stealth? Uh, plus 27. Oh, she's okay. sneaking. And when sneaking, sneaking a failure does not reveal you. No, it makes you hidden, though, mm -hmm. which is functionally revealing you. Good. You're not completely... Because yeah. that's that's, when you're invisible, that's as bad as it can get. <laughs> um, inside the room, as Rasheen comes in... The tiefling inside is going to move a little bit, doing a similar thing, kind of pivoting around this angle so they can see through the passageway, which will let him see uh, moving a bit northwest. See Roshin, Marshall outside, oh, and Raz. Perfect. Can you see Raz? Uh, I was about the to the room there. extends further off of the map. The oh, okay. spider sprawled too far. He is the Trishik's left. All right, fair enough. Uh, as he raises up a hand, Harida, exhaust us! And I need Roshin... My thing. I just had the thing. Uh, Roshin, Raz, and Marshall to make me fortitude saves. What fortitude. Is the, what fortitude is the range on that saves. spell? I mean, I'm out of line of sight. Arcane, but can feet. Arcane countermeasure. Oh, thank you. Nice. Plus two. Nice. Well, you're fine. I'm. That's not I'm a. Fine. That's not a visual or a audio nope. effect. Nope. Okay. I gotta gotta ask. Um. Just like me asking if what are they, they long? Plus two. Plus two. Thank you. Um. Math. Man. I'm so bad the at it. The main antagonist of Pathfinder. That's 11. It's Marshall, what'd you get? Not a one. What'd you get? 47. Oh, uh, yeah, you're good. Uh, Roshan, what'd you get? 42. You are a regular success. Uh, 36. 36. That is not the guy who was frightened one. Regular fail by one. If it Finger matters, it lowers the level. If that matters it to the damage. It is at minimum. Okay. That's the sad thing about like player arcane countermeasures is almost 100% of NPC NPC spells are cast. I don't care. Anyway. Plus two status to the, your the AC buff is, nice, is but you don't get the dope. cool thing a lot of the time with the extra cool thing. Okay. So zero, 27, and 54. I wish they would stop hitting me with this stuff. Points of negative damage. I've done as uh, you feel this force just kind of rack and almost just. <clears throat> dry you. You're, you feel your skin creak and crack and even start to bleed in a couple of places as moisture is just rot from your body. Wouldn't have happened if you'd used the aloe I gave you. Trishik. You didn't give me aloe. So, the caster has played their hand, and now it will take their hand. They are adjacent to you, so... So, from the roof, I'm gonna strike down at him and scare the hell out of him. <laughs> You're definitely flat-footed. He do not see you. So that's going to be a 37. 37 will hit. Is he lawful? Yes. The regular hit. Yeah. Okay. Oh, because you get still get the damage. Yeah, yeah I get another damage, D6. Right? I get so focused Five, on the D6 six, of 11. justice. <laughs> yeah. I forget that it does eight. also <laughs> just do damage. It's not justice, though. It's like the D6 of like wacky fun times. Chaos. Chaos. Justice. Chaos. So yeah. six times five wow, is 30. Wow, that's a roll. That's a lot of six. 36. Wow. Yahtzee. 38. Lots of ones 50. and lots of sixes. Man, Pretty I... good attack. There's 50 damage on the caster. All right, two left. That's what he just said. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to... kind of sound, I think. <laughs> I'm going to faint him. Okay. Honestly, I think I pass one or two. Let me check. Very possibly. His perception is not fantastic. Uh, my deception, uh, that's a Cast 33 a against his perception. That's going to fail. Oh. Um, not quite enough. He's not that blind. He did just get smacked, and there's a giant lizard in front of him all of a sudden. He has no idea how he missed before. Well, <laughs> the good news, perfect distraction. I'm gone. Right. And I'm going to move to behind him. I don't know if there's that much space. Yeah, we It'll might have to slide the map. Uh, the map. Adjacent. The yeah, I'm going to. There's, there's not room behind I'll him. I'll move below him. Below him, you can do that. Okay. Yeah. 
Um, and the, there's the, a the, copy of me there threatening Notably, him. the the western and the southern walls here are just curtains. So if you wanted to uh, roll the galactic dice, you could move through the curtains. It would I mean, also make it exceptionally obvious where you were. Yeah, I'm, but, I'm just going to move down below him. Okay. So he thinks I'm still right there, ready to fight him. Fair enough. Um, Archer, seeing this, is going to move back to the southeastern corner. So uh, just straight down. Retreating, yeah, 10 feet back away from Roshin. Roll twice if you're shooting at Roshin. Yes. You used okay. arcane countermeasure. Oh. No, you don't react. You're right, I don't. <laughs> For a... Shield. I'm sure the faint shield. Is, I'm sure the faint <laughs> is successful. I don't know what your perception DC is. 43 against your perception DC. 43 versus my perception DC? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah okay, totally so passes. Okay, so this is against your flat-footed. You can definitely snap the shield up, but it is flat-footed. Mm -hmm. uh, loosing a shot. Difficult to predict before it leaves the bow. Uh, for a natural 20. Oh, okay. Well, fair enough, then. Well, you know, shield is up, so that's good. I think it's the first one I've rolled out session, actually. I think you guys have been pretty dry on natural yeah. 20s, to be mm -hmm. fair. Um, Made up for it for the session before that. Which works, because I don't have to do the frightened math on the attack roll, too. <laughs> My life has been made slightly easier mm -hmm. by, by great success. See, this is what happens when he also gets sneak attack dice. All the d6s that I have. All right, math time. That's 10. That's 10. Shield block. You got the double reaction now, right? I do. Yeah. Gonna need it. Pretty My good. shield's gonna probably get broken, but we'll see what happens. It'll fix itself. Sorry, I'll fix it. 28. It fixes itself. 30. Technically. Seven. Oh. 37 goes to 74. Plus bow deadly. Goes to 85. 85. Okay. Points of piercing that's damage. That's convenient because then it drops to 70 after hardness, and that's going to just break it. Be the final answer. Um, and then as her last action, she is going to step back behind this curtain out of sight. As she pushes it aside, hits behind it, and then it drops back in front of her. Um, and she is going to call out as she does, Mortis! Send for help! His name is Morris. <laughs> Morris. But yes, Morris Marshall. the caster? Well, he, poor Morris is not going to be there for much longer because sudden charge. Oh, I don't think that's who she was calling out to. I'm pretty sure there's people behind the curtain. Don't care. Sudden charge. We're oh, assuming yeah. this man is... Nat 20. Well, his bones are now made get... of potato Well, mush. the good news is you probably won't one-shot him. I'm has, always has... positive you won't. He has bone He's been hit exactly once. Fortitude save. Yeah, sunroom. Uh, that's a... Oh, uh, Sonic. Did you roll a one? I got a 10. That's a one. Yeah, that's also a zero, though, unfortunately. You time, you multiply those two numbers. Roll the zero. 84 zero. damage. Uh, 84? 84 sound and slashing damage. All right, a solid blow as Marshall comes rampaging into the room here, but definitely not enough to, to kill this guy immediately. But attacks. Link 1429, my D6 oh. is tidings for Marshall. Allegro. Oh, you do have a Lego. You got a Lego. Yep, you got two swings left. Bonk, bonk. Mm. Don't question this man. He knows what he's about. I, I pay attention. I forget about the Allegro all the time. Uh, I'm going to use that hero point immediately to redeem it. Thank you very much. Don't forget. Da -da -da -da, not da -da -da -da. Uh, it did get better. It did get better. There's a wizard. Does a 32 not... hit? No, it's not. Okay. <laughs> no, it's not that bad. I'm just going to use my last action. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I'm going to use my last action. I'm my Allegro him. action to uh, take a fish for a 20. Da, 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 da. It was not a 20. It All was right, a Rez. Three. It was a 3. Uh, but I did think. You got a good hit. You got, you got one good big, hit. big hit in there. We, Thank you. Um, I guess I'm going to... 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Did he pass his fourth save on the sound thing? Yeah, he did not roll a 1. Okay. The DC is inherent to the rune. It's like 31. It's based kind on of like literally look around. Oh, okay. Do my allies get to ignore my illusions? No. So you think I'm standing above you? Yeah, yeah you, uh, you yeah. equally elude your allies. I have four. I have like 40 foot of movement, so I'm just gonna just come to the entrance. Up to the, room. the entrance of the hallway. Mm -hmm. Look around. How that arrow work? And tele 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 telekinetic to projectile. The wizard. Wow, he's doing a hit. Ooh. Franz is doing damage. He's I'm mad. Damn a hogway. Land that 20. Uh, 17 on the die. Nice. Ooh. Um, plus 28. Spicy. What's that math? 45. 45. Not a Sounds crit. Good. A Not a crit. crit. That's fine by me. 
Um, how many is that? That's nine. Nine. Rock. <laughs> Arrow. Arrow. Crap. You carry around specifically for this purpose. No, the one I just picked up off the ground. Oh, that's fair. The that got, got shot, shot in the resume. resume. Yeah. Six. That 12. popped out of my flesh. <laughs> and yeah, he eats it out of her and into the wizard. 25. Oh. 30, 31 plus that's charisma not bonus. Sanitary. 40. Yeah. Even if he survives this fight, he's going to. Have some unspecified disease problems later in life. He doesn't about? have I'm that elf in He's got system. elfitis. Yeah, he got elfitis. He's going to conflict with his tiefling blood. Roshin. He's got elfitis. He's got boneitis. He's about to get deaditis, I'm pretty sure. So you saw her just step. You know she is just behind the curtain. You would have seen that she just, just behind, behind the curtain. Her. Like it was basically a move action to go the other side. And you're a leg road right now. I am a leg road. So you? no, you're not. You're not. I'm you're not, not a leg road. Not leg road is one person. Rock. Oh, okay. That's a rock. All right. Um. So we're going to stride up to where I'm pretty sure she is. Okay. And just the gauntleted hand is just gonna reach and try to grab her. Okay. Maybe a concealment check. Yep, that's fair. <laughs> Reasonable. Eight. Uh, as you reach through, you fully concealed. You can't see her at all. Oh, okay. uh, reach through the curtain, and you can like feel a bit of something. But she is, you know, not just gonna let you grab her. She just assumes you're gonna yeah. follow after. That's gonna fail. Okay. Uh, and then the uh, second thing I'm going to do. You could like cast the curtain aside as an interact action if you wanted to. Yeah, that's that's it. Oh, okay. It was more I wasn't fun sure if you thought it was not like guard. stapled to the ceiling. It's like I wasn't sure if, I mean, if, if you were aware it, that was a. If they're adamantine staples, maybe it would have stopped her. Okay. If she was really determined, but I, I, I want I like the the vision of like she's like running like help, and then the gauntleted hand just grabs her and drags her back. I'm well, not as good at it as true chic, but the Gengar act. The Gengar act, yeah, basically. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. um, but it didn't work out. Um, so yeah, I'll uh, I'll interact to uh, knock the curtain down. And turn that down. You see her just behind it, already knocking another arrow. And you can see this uh, area that she's in here is quite small. There is another door behind her, uh, as well as a pair of cots and some uh, some small foot lockers and storage things behind her. Not a lot of space back here, and no immediate sign of reinforcements. Where is that door? The door it would be to the, both of your left on the left wall of the area behind the curtain. All right. Because fa I'm facing her, so. <laughs> we yeah, have well, left laps. from the bottom. Your right, her left. Okay. Resume. Um, all right. I can't really. I would say you could. Yeah, you see, can't really see either of them. See either of them. Uh, so I'm gonna move up. Uh, kind of just beside Raz in the doorway. Okay. Um, if you move like right behind Raz, if you move the beside him, you can see one or the other through because they're in opposite ends of this room and this passageway is like five feet long. You can only see a little slice of it. Um, Tieflin's looking pretty bad. He uh, is. Hurt. Uh, so um, I'm going to take a pellet, which I keep about me for telekinetic projectile. This and is I, the, spe the special pellet. Yeah, and I'm going to fling it at his head. It's made of anti-tiefling material. It has his name carved into it. It's called steel. <laughs> it is. Tieflings, for whatever reason, can take weaknesses to materials. Yeah, it's only if they take bad feats. Yeah. All right. Oh, so. Sir. <laughs> uh, sir, <laughs> sir. Sir. Content. Oh, sorry. <laughs> It's a 42. 42 will hit him. <laughs> Get your min max and out of here, boy. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wants I'm sorry. To sorry willingly Liza. make themselves weak. To Just because it has very minimal upsides and humongous downsides does not mean it's What's flavor, damn it. <laughs> What's the upside? Uh, you, 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 you super bad. edge. Man, you're very you are so edgy. edgy. So you oh, are that's super easy. Uh, 40 wait. damage. Demon. 40. Uh, he's still up. But Not after that follow up hit, it's gonna be just barely. Um, and as it is his turn here, Marshall's in his face. He doesn't like that action. Uh, no Marshall nowhere, and Trishik are in his face. Yeah, there's also nowhere that he could step that is away from Marshall. So uh, Caster's worst nightmare. This <laughs> just being, being prone he's, would be the only way to make it worse. He's just <laughs> going to uh, pull his hands together and like kind of steady himself. Temporum <laughs> tardis and try to cast something. Oh, he's not cast. Uh, that is a 42. That will hit him. Not a crit. Well, if he kills him. If he kills him, he does not get to cast the spell, though, on account of the deadness. Mm. It's a horrible status condition. Yeah, you'd know. You I know. would know. That's, uh, that's 52. Yeah, he's not alive anymore. So, I've been so as he's like, uh, da, da, da. nope. I think maybe he did. Slice directly in half. I got this one. It's, it's the like, wave of terror across Caster's faces. Unalive. You see that wave of terror spread to the one with the bow. 
whose eyes just wide. No! Oh, it goes grab another arrow. Still doing her best, Trishik. So if I five foot step over, she's in my reach. She's already in your reach. Is she? I couldn't tell. You, you, have, a short foot, you have ten foot reach. You okay. you have ten foot reach, and you take. Yeah, the ceiling is not mechanically putting you in a different square. It's a low ceiling. Okay, just You're making just being sure. A sneaky sneak. He's just being well. Weird. The uh, I'm going to spend an action to maintain the mislead. Okay. And it's going to spend its actions coming over and attacking over Roshin. And well, your log is gonna grow legs and walk over and do a tag. Yeah, it's it, like mislead. Yeah, right? it's mislead. Close. It can do that. It's very I, powerful. Log. So it's gonna roll, and the the fabric tied to it's gonna fly up like a wacky inflatable arm man. Yeah, <laughs> and it's gonna. But it, it's yeah. gonna come over, and it's gonna look like it's attacking, but it's just gonna be me attacking. Truly really potent log. Fair enough. So, a uh, deception check to make her think that these attacks are coming from the clone. That's a 16 on the die. I'm confident that a 45 does it, or a 47. Yes. I mean, Roshin thinks it's you. Yeah, you think it's me. This log, log is just flapping over. You're like, yeah, get him, Trishik. <laughs> get him. And, uh, we all think it's Trishik. <laughs> first claw attack. I mean, gonna... Telly swings once, and then you're like, oh. Now there's two. So that's going to be... <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll keep it there, because I'm trying... This is my first time actually attacking in tandem with the clone, so I'm going to roll a 33. 33 uh, is definitely not going to hit. And then, you know, it seemed like a good idea to try it at the time, but now it's just, oh, well, smack. Three. <laughs> I, I got a two. 30 or 29. Yeah, swinging. You're working the strings. Yeah, I'm too busy working the strings. She to is very claws. much realizing. Uh, now there's two of me. There's alone here. There's two fight? of you. That's a problem. She but nothing was fight. contacted with her. <laughs> she <laughs> is going to flip the script here, and she is going to rush towards the door. She is going to, uh, arrow in hand, pivot out around Roshin, um, and then back up towards the wall, and then far north to the entryway of the chamber itself. Do you have reach? I don't think you do. Um, but she is going to pass through a square that is adjacent to him and leave it, which provokes. She is not. She's going to go diagonal, diagonal. I already used my... Yeah. Yeah. He did also. Oh, well, you also are done. Reaction. Super yeah. duper irrelevant, but she is not passing through any threatened square. Oh, I see what you're talking about. Diagonal, diagonal. Yep. Um, but and as she gets up there, keeping this bow kind of low as she pivots in circles around you, uh, using her own movement to uh, she is clearly focused on the escape here. Is going to absolutely fail to faint. Uh, so we're just going to take the shot at Roshin normally. Uh, snap that shield up with uh, light cover because there's a fake me in the way. 44. Attack of stop uh, opportunity. 44 is a normal hit. And not flat footed, no sneak attack dice, no deadly D10. Gonna be a sad, regular little arrow shot. Looks like Raz attacking people. 17 points of piercing <laughs> damage. Exactly the bow doesn't do kidding. a whole lot when you just kind of shoot it for damage. You need the other stuff in there to make it do good mm. things. Yeah. Um, and then she is going to go to move out of the hallway, which is immediately going to become a tumble through as there is a person there. So this is you against your reflex DC, I'm pretty sure. In, oh, well, you're not invisible anymore. You, you threw a rock. You're no. visible now. So she's just going to tumble through anyway. Yeah. Uh, does your, is it, is it low level? It's, it's low level. It's the armor rune. No, it's, that's the, armor the rune high level. No, it's the not. The armor rune casts it at second level. No, it okay, doesn't. So not yes, mine. Yes, it does. We've had this conversation. We have had this conversation. Oh, we have? Okay. The, second level. <laughs> so, uh, the heightened she, version of the rune lets you cast it at second level three times per day. That's all um, it does. So, versus your reflex DC. You're still frightened, Oon, as well. Acrobatics check of a 39. Because I thought the same thing that you did. Uh, first, my reflex DC? Yes. Yep. Uh, that's going to be... The reflex plus 10. Uh, yeah, 37, so that passes. Oh, what's yours, Rez? It passes. I guess it would be on the other side of Rez. Then this is a weird little double tumble thing. It's a weird thing about tumble through. It only works for one enemy. Yeah, Marshall. Ah, get back over there. No offense, guys. Sudden charge. <laughs> <laughs> Follow as she slips no, as through. Soon as, as soon as she comes and stuff with the Rez, get, twisting and twirling way. past your casters, Marshall just. <laughs> I think that's a that's gonna hurt good. That's a forty-six. You want to re-roll that because you got a hero point. As you look at his fight, Marshall, you think he could squash this person like a pancake. <laughs> Pancakes so you feel lucky. Dark Heart 1985 got a hero point for you. That's absolutely going to hit. 46 
She's not frightened anymore, so it's just gonna be a hit. <laughs> it's still a hit, though. Yeah, if she still had the frightened one, if it didn't go down at the end of your turn, uh, it would have been a crit. Let's see, nine, eight, seven, oh, wait, no, I'm looking at the rest of that one. On the wizards, it would have been. That is 46 uh, slashing and sound damage. Okay. And then smack I her. might as well use this opportunity to smack her one more time. I'm here. And I'm going to use this <laughs> hero point. Zero points stay with you for Marshall's several seconds. Marshall was a little too sometimes. excited, so he had to calm down for a second. Into a much better roll. Uh, that'll be a 39 to hit. That'll do it. Bonk. Bonk. Okay, some lot high, some low. Okay, so that's 13, 25, so. uh, 38. Okay. Raz, is it just me or is it really busy in this hallway? And uh, that's it. I well, got Rez. Harmonize. I'm going to go ahead and harmonize meta magic. So, on um, this Archer Lady, I want you to know you did this to you. If you just leave and he doesn't catch you, you're free to leave. Like, live. I'm going to Dirge of Doom. Well, she looks like she's trying to do that. <laughs> See, the, the caveat ah. there is you have to not get caught. By you have this. to get not get she's caught. very much trying to do that thing. I like her on Marshall. <laughs> <laughs> You have to get out. <laughs> now you're scared, and he's faster than you. But if you get away, you're free. Thanks, buddy. Free. Run! <laughs> I still have my bracers of speed, too. Roshin. Uh, I'm pretty sure Marshall's got that. Um, I'm going to walk up to the door and uh, movable rod it. <laughs> Bonk. <laughs> Fair enough. Move up, draw it, use its three actions. Yep. Uh, resume. I'm getting out of the hallway because it just seems like a horrific place to be. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go find Roisin. Oh yeah, you can head back to Roisin if she is barricading the door here. Just don't get any blood on me. Leave this, uh, Trishik. Where's that door again? It's where you're at it. Okay, perfect. It's like, well, the walls at an angle here. It's an oddly shaped chamber. They divided up with curtains. It's like a, it's actually like kind of like a triangular room. The triad were like, who some, builds rooms triangularly shaped? Yeah, some shaped. curtains in to make it curtains make shaped nice. like a human. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Trishik. Two actions to get out there adjacent to this uh, lovely that's, bowman. That's another massive figure just yeah. past Rez and here. I'm going to be on the south side, making a bit more of an obstacle block in the way. Fair enough. Gotta I'm now get on out. the ground. The oh, ceiling no. is a bit higher here, yeah. so yeah. And uh, hello and goodbye. Oh, I didn't mention him. My bad. So that's going to be a 38. She's frightened one, so it hits. That's frightened one and flat-footed to me. How does she flat-footed you? Oh, she's Strike frightened striker. one, right, yeah. yeah. Frightened one and flat-footed, so it definitely hits, yeah. Without the frightened, it wouldn't have. Oh, my God. I'm pretty sure that's That is insane. Dead. So that's going to be 10 and 18, 23. Sounds like he's having a good time, I'm worried. 41, uh, 53. With three sixes, two fours, two fives. Not bad. A solid hit. She stumbles a bit. Um, and then she was taking two pretty large hits from you guys. She is going to continue her retreat down the hall. It's absolutely going to provoke. She's going for it. I would re-roll that, but you don't have one because you wasted two. it. It was not a waste. Of you to say <laughs> and as she you of all people. Uh, she's heading northeast up to the corner. Uh, she'd make it all the way. She's speed 30. She'd make it all the way up to the corner of this. And uh, just call it, shut up, you rats, and loose an arrow That's your the direction. wrong way. I gave you a way out. Uh, natural 20 to faint you. So You're flat-footed until faint. the you end of her next turn. You are hella flat-footed. At least it wasn't the hit. Yeah, not the hit, though. Only uh, 47 on your flat footed to hit. Yep. Doesn't think that's just I'll go ahead and pick up all these two sixes. Doesn't crit. <laughs> Bow things. It's a shame that enemies don't have critical specs, because it'd be real funny for someone to get pinned. <laughs> be great for the retreating thing. It'd mm -hmm. be really funny uh, because the GM would have to keep track of yet another set of mechanics. That on sounds top like of it'd be things. super fun. Yeah, 46. No, that's easy. It just happens. Points of piercing damage. Cool. This computer calculates it. Yeah. yeah. We. Oh. 96 points of piercing damage. 86 points of piercing damage. Final answer. I thought you didn't crit him. You didn't crit me. AC's 38. I didn't. AC's 38. Oh. You got a 47. Well, I'll roll everything again. But you're flat footed. I lost track of what was the deadly and what was. No, the no, you're, you're flat footed. You're flat footed. 
I am five footed. You're right. So you're I, six. Uh, yeah, so it was eighty six points of damage. Stop trying to kill me. And then she's going to take a second stride, uh, disappearing thirty feet up further along. Further along, I think getting her just shy of, oh, just shy of the next corner of the pillar. Get her, Marshall. She's going. You know, remember I mentioned earlier. Racers are dashing. <laughs> Zoom. And yes. thanks to Allegro, yeah. I'm going to use my first action to move 40 feet closer. And then Sun Two charge. actions will get you to her, yeah. Yeah, and then Sun Charge to the rest of the way. You probably just you Sun don't, Charge. You, okay, we have to have a talk about how Sudden Charge works because that's throwing an action to trash. Sudden Charge oh. is two actions. You move twice and swing. But I'm Allegro. Yes. You Did so, I do it wrong? Or? No, what you, you don't wanted need to do to was spend charge. three actions to do two actions worth of work. If it, you, you move. You cheated yourself. And then sudden charge, you're spending three actions. Oh, never mind. Then. If you just sudden, sudden charge, charge, yeah, you spend two actions. So you could have bracers and then sudden charge for two actions. And then you have your allegro it. action left. Oh, oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, but allegro is, is allegro stride or strike or just stride? Stride, yes. step, and strike. So then, then you can use your allegro to hit her. Okay. On, on top yeah, of everything else, so he gets yeah. a sudden charge and he gets an allegro if he wants. Yeah. So you get. Yeah. Two okay. Well, never mind. Up. I'm yeah, not yeah. using bracers. Sudden charge is literally just like you keep doing it ten feet. And it's adorable. But sudden charge is just stride, stride, strike as two actions. Okay. I just misunderstood. The, yeah, uh, so it only the does anything if it's going to take you more than one stride to get there. Well, either way, my intention is to get to her face. Yeah, that's why twice. I'm like, okay, now you're just, because you can hit her twice, but what you're saying is hit her once. You can definitely hit her twice. Uh, That is going to be a 41. Which will hit. The prank did go down. Uh, There's still 30. Uh, it, she went outside of the range. Oh. Yeah. If she's outside of the range, of oh, it's only thirty feet under a drag. Yeah, she yeah. ran. Yeah. She's That's out why uh, That is fifty. Solid hit. Still up. Got two hundred on her. Yeah, she's a. Uh, she ain't soft. All right, one last swing. She's looking a bit. She's looking fairly hurt. I rolled a one. Say. He's getting way too excited running after. Apparently, her. you two are over here because I kind of figured you're just off doing door stuff. And well, you're I'm like, gonna go. I'm not look gonna behind the next curtain and then see what's back there and. I'm not gonna chase somebody who's yeah. retreating. You're we turn. will. <laughs> <laughs> Be you you block the first door with the immovable rod, looking behind the second curtain, find another set of two cots and some little storage space. It seems they've just kind of divided this place up as well as they can. Okay. Um, uh, also, my but, turns do matter because I heal on every one of them. If you are gonna stay over here, you are no longer engaged in a non-trivial combat encounter. You would, at this turn, stop healing. You have okay. ended the combat. Can't, okay, but I, I didn't know that there was no threat because I didn't know if there was something behind the curtain. So can I have my, can I, I once I know, okay, there's not, there's no threat yeah, I'll here, give you I can this, I'll give you this turn and then you won't get any more of it. Okay. All right, fair. Okay, that's fair. Cause that's not like rage. Like there's still a potential threat there. Right. Rage is um, you have to perceive an So enemy. as you're looking to the bunks to what would sit, maybe a half dozen, maybe 10 more tribe members here as you're looking through. Um, Rez. Tashik's not hidden, right? No. Tashik's just right there. I, because she was feared, I just ran up and bah. Ba, 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 ba. Zoom. Zoom me lizard. I like the Allegro card around. I was throwing the Allegro card and I just kind of look at the, the blood. I'm okay. <laughs> yeah, it's a fourth level soothe on myself. Well, you're soothing yourself, Trishik. Hey, boss, I can get, some. get behind her with three actions. You sure can. And then Allegro strike her with flanking. You sure can. And I will. <laughs> Is he just... <laughs> the whole I'm terrifying the now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> we became the gogs. I mean, I'm wearing its face. Either be either die or live long enough to see yourself become a gog. <laughs> <laughs> um, ten, two. It's in the spirit of the derp. <laughs> I must. You have to. Oh no, I don't like that preamble. It's better. It went from a two to a three. That means that I've gone from a two to a three two turns in a row. Well, that's probably. I mean, she's uh, not. That's right. a she's thirty-four to her flanking. Yeah, it's not gonna hit just the flat-footed. flat-footed. Um, and as you chase after her, it's supernatural speed that she definitely does not have. She is going to cast her bow aside and reach down for her sword. Oh, no. going to provoke. Oh, no. Really? <laughs> we just can't hit her. She's way too, pitiful. too excited. She's way too pitiful. She pulls the sword out at Trishik behind her. And uh, as she goes to try to circle out around you, Screams frantically to the north on this passageway. Triangle! Triangle Hari! They're nearly there! 
and is going to move around behind you. Behind me? Yep, with her 30. Mm -hmm. Take a slash at you with a short sword as she circles around. Nimble dodge. More like a, yeah, just a kind of a roving slash. Ooh. Gee, a spicy dice that don't matter at all. 53. <laughs> hey. Uh, yeah, I mean, she'll crit. Poke! Short sword crit! <laughs> what, I 20 take damage! 15? 34 points no. of piercing damage. That's respectable. Right. I get all the damage. Um, there are 100 points. Make me a fortitude save. Make me. I, uh, oh, you got things! Poison sword. Poison sword. Oh! Another two. Malachi does not like you. Uh, that'll be a 28. 28 does not critically fail. That's what I assumed. But it will regular fail. And as she strikes you, uh, you feel just this kind of uh, this solid hit, first of all. Uh, and then secondly, it starts to burn away. And this pain almost clouds your vision. Like, you, it's almost blinding. You are, there are way more conditions to start with C than I thought. That was way deeper in the deck. You are dazzled. It's always mm. fun. Mm. She's dazzling. Is she that pretty? And you take... It's just beer goggles. Boy. 24 points of poison damage. Damn, that's, that's a lot of poison damage. Not really. I meant for like... And then, sword. she's got one action left. She is going to move another 30 feet, uh, which is going to put her, I think, halfway up this northern passageway. I scroll the map again. Keep going. <laughs> you might just need to zoom it out at this point. It's going to get her like 10, 15 feet down that northern hallway. And she has just turned and is beating a full retreat at this point. You guys are just full-on shenanigans at this point. Uh, well, she's going to get... I, am, I do need to keep acting once I... Okay, what's up? Well, we'll go to the community over here. What's up in the Roshan and Resume community? Well, I just heard her screaming for help for Trigal. Ah, that's where Trigal is. Let's go, Resume. Oh, okay. Uh, bracelets of dashing? Uh, Roshan is just going to trundle up after him. <laughs> All right, well, you're getting probably halfway past the pillar. That's fine. Slow that person's pants. locked in their room, so I'm moving. they're removable rod. Yeah, you there. haven't heard anyone attempting to get out. I'm moving but, uh, 40 feet per there. action. You will get... Probably just past the pillar on the opposite side. Uh, assuming you're coming up the, the left flank here. Passive mm -hmm. bleeding Raz. <laughs> As he's just in the doorway vibing. Marshall. I can probably get um, my to there. I'm charge. going after her. Sudden Pass charge. Um, I don't know. I could I'll sudden charge you get there. What's your speed? 30? 30. You can sudden charge her. She's 30, 30 away from yep. you, so you can sudden charge back up. Uh, Stampeding right. Marshall, man. That is a 43. Oh, well, you catch up and you get a meaty swing. You're doing Marshall things. I'm doing Marshall things. I'm doing my job. Yes, Marshall. It's like the first time I've seen Sudden Charge actually be useful. Because someone's retreating. Yeah. Uh, 49. 49 points of damage? Okay. Oh, she has 249 points of damage. And this she attack kind of staggering and spinning her here. She's got her sword sword clamped in one arm and she's kind of sort of holding her shoulder with the other. Uh, not even really turning so much as I face didn't to say you could leave. Dodge, second swing, <laughs> as she is fully focused on making it down his hallway. Hey, you get another swing. Oh, I do? Yeah, sun charge sun charges action. two actions. Oh, that's true, that's true. We're learning. Uh, that was a four on the die, so no. Yes. <laughs> Sad. Um. 40 foot of movement north past Rasheen. Yeah, you pass up Rasheen, get kind of a little, little past her towards Resme. Um, another 40 back. Past, uh, past Resme up to the, probably the center of the northern band here. Um, As you come around to this, you can see there is an entrance to the central chamber on the northern side. I can see. Um, the carvings are wrought around to a focal point where there is actually an arched doorway. Uh, carved of a pale white stone on the northern end of this, set against the slate of the subcrops of the Red Pyramid here, which has long since stopped being red, uh, which would allow ingress to the central chamber. Shashik, Shashik, what was the beat I gave you earlier? Your turn. Ingress, isn't that a bird? Flanking, and I'm going to take her ankles. I love song. Uh, so okay. two actions to get behind her. So as you uh, scroll it up, scroll us up. As you move up into this passageway, you can see this is a uh, hallway that goes a decent distance 
uh, sort of a little cattywampus here. It kicks off at a 45 degree angle, turning a little bit right before straightening out again to a wide set wooden double door a little further beyond. Um, and is hung with curtains along both sides during this little jauntily angled bit here. Uh, you get behind her. Flat check. That's a nine. For what? Dazzled. Oh, yeah, you're good. Right, you're dazzled. <laughs> I forgot. He's bedazzled and everywhere. Then we're going to hit her for a nine. So that's going to be a 40. 40 will hit. Hits her, hits her. We're in there. Lawful, right? Yes. All right. I owe her an extra D6 of damage. <laughs> Two. Okay, I can't put blue on it. <laughs> Two. Deserved. So five and six is 11, 15, 16, left. 20, 5, 31, 43. Not 66. I have another attack. Allegro. You double have, moved behind her. Mm-hmm. Allegro. I have Allegro. Double moved behind her. She's 60. Really One, two, hit Allegro. Yes, four yeah, actions. You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. You have the Allegro swing. It's, it's been a hard day. It's been Flat a hard check. day. There's been a lot of numbers. 11? Because I am dazzled. You're regularly yeah, you dazzled. <laughs> 16. So that's a 12. So that goes up to a 43. Hits. I, I can't sure not kill can't her not just kill on her. raw dice alone. What do you do, buddy? What you I, do? I roll my dice. Yeah, you did. She would have ran the other way. I wouldn't have tried so hard. 7, 10, 13, 15, 21, 22, 23, 35. I don't care about the number. I what do care you, about What the do you numbers? do, Trishy? I make fortitude save because I'm poisoned. You do that. <laughs> <laughs> that's a 2. <laughs> Getting his just desserts. No, it goes one degree worse. But um, see, the problem There's is the blinding poison. rage at this point. He's like, he's he's going into like an animalistic fury. Um, this pain really starts to overwhelm you. You're still dazzled. You're now also sickened. Oh, also, boy. really good status condition. And there is Allegra. It's just frightened. It's just frightened that you can. It doesn't fall. go down on its own. Yeah. He's. What about forty-two damage? What? About 42 damage? Uh, 33. 33. Points of poison damage. It's not one of those doubler every phase kind of situations. Okay. Uh, but as you... Those are the poisons I look at. Strike her down. Um, Roshin, coming pounding up the hallway here, probably take all three actions just to get within view of this. 20 foot speed's a real thing. And see mm-hmm. Trishik, like... Clearly, kind of confused and a lot I don't of know pain. She's down yet, still like kind of swiping. She's sort of like swiping, just batting at her body like a cat. No idea what's really going on. Uh, resume. Uh, my speed is forty. So. I mean, yeah, you could you could easily with uh, another action get. I mean, what are you what are you doing? Like, she's uh, down. There's there's no more sounds in these halls, but whatever you guys are doing. Uh, in your head, are you all right? Like, she's dead. What are you doing? I cannot see clearly because of this damn salt she struck me with. Oh, uh. Roshin, uh, Marshall, Trishik is poisoned. I think we should probably go try to help him out. Oh, I got it. All right, I'll uh, let Marshall take care of it. He's better. Vomits so, on the right. floor. <laughs> Put big the first time way, I've ever heard Marshall pull get out the tater stick. Trishik get upset. So I guess you can't do it right yet. Um, that's too oh. many actions. You got to get up to him. You got to get your stick, and then two actions. Oh wait, is, oh yeah, we're still doing that. Okay. Well, because he's been poisoned round by round. Yeah. So okay, uh, you're no. getting ready to do that, but Rez. Is this a non-trivial encounter? So on your next no. turn, you'll be able to roll for it. You have not been engaged. Since all right, you right, right, right. Trishik is poison. That's concerning oh, to you. Okay. I appreciate because your you enthusiasm. Over, but it's two actions to treat a poison. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, it's not bad medicine. So, uh, Raz, while Marshall's heading over to try and help with a stick, what do you do? I'm going to watch. I don't do poison. Trishik, make a fort save. I can't help Trishik with fort saves. No, that's 13. So I can barely help myself with 39. fort saves. 39? 39? Uh, Goes down a step. Yeah, starting to quell down. The sickened condition is going to fade. You're still dazzled here. You are still going to take 19 points of poison damage as this is racking through your veins. Um, But it is. uh, It's your your turn. You can. uh, What do you do? Do anything? No. (laughs) Can you do anything? You no, not really. I don't think. Unless you you have an antidote. That's what I'm checking. Yeah, check. You got an antidote in your sack. I thought you grabbed So many lunch. poisons. I mean, no I have this man's got a hundred poisons in his bag. Not but, a single <laughs> antidote. I got Not some, a single antidote. I got some greater antidote for some. this man. No, that was poisons, specific antidote, antidote for specific poison. <laughs> Rushing. 
Oh, boy. C2C. You're camera. in quite a state, Rashik. It's mushroom, too. Raz, you two. Come on, come up here. And uh, Roshin's going to uh, move up next to Rashik. Maybe Rasheek. we should have bought some potions um, before and, we came in here. And motion Raz to come join her so I can cast Moment of Renewal next turn. I need huge hurry to do that this exact second. And do it when it's... Can hit multiple people when it's worth doing. Exactly. Resume? Uh... I just got around by round because of poison. <laughs> it's okay. I do have a greater antidote, so I will run up and try to administer it to Trashik. Yeah, move up, draw, give. Yeah, fair enough. Um, you can well, make it next administer, round. right? Can you administer with one with an action? It's two actions to. It, it, there is actually two actions to give something to somebody, like to force them to do it. I so, gotcha. Uh, you can. You have it. You can take it next round. Uh, Marshall, make me a medicine check. Tater stick. That's a 33. Now the 30, oh, I'm sorry, 35. The 35, as he tries to help you out here, uh, you know, he is becoming Marshall MD, but he is more better with, I don't know, like gladiatorial injuries. Uh, poison, not so much. Uh, he's in, perhaps inspirational, but not doing anything beyond uh, motivation here. Res? I'm going to get, get I'm gonna move up to the other side of Roshin and kind of clap to Sheik as high up as I can. Like, you're doing good. Like mid shin. Yeah. Trishik, make a fort save. I get to drink the antidote first. You can drink the antidote first, and then you can make a fort save. Yeah, it's a regular antidote, so plus two. No, Even it's greater, a, it's so a greater. it's plus three. It's the, plus three. It, yeah. Uh, it's, he's having a Roshin moment. So that will be uh, 41. And you're good. Nice. Yay. With? Am I still dazzled? No, it goes under the poison. Like, let's, almost all effects of poisons go away, which I guess almost. That's why you have to ask. Because you see, I am in a party with this man, <laughs> and which means that I always carry around greater antidotes because I don't know who's going to be poisoned, what they're going to be poisoned you're the with. Good cop, it, just cop. it just happens sometimes. It just happens sometimes. Soskarit, everybody, since you're all next to me. So that's all going to be con times level times two in hit points back. So uh, back to full, got it. Everybody? Everybody. Every moment you're all next to me. Oh, gather wow. around Roshin nice. and touch its mother and receive... Her magical nourishment. 17 times. Ah! Except Raz, who gets 34 health back. <laughs> <laughs> I do it now because it's funny to me. He's staring disapprovingly at your character sheet where it says plus one con. Mm -hmm. So you're level 17. Mm -hmm. How do you have plus one con? I haven't died yet, have I? Twice. Just nope, a session. I'm, I'm still alive. <laughs> I'm back to full. Like, like he literally a like. Con score. Raz looks a little better. A Raz score. is just a pile of nothing but starey strips. Raz, you know, like, Raz's that's, wounds like scab a terrible. little bit. The rest of you, I, does that not that's top anyone else off? That, that tops me you, off for you now. You sane people who have three to four con modifiers yeah. at this level and tops full. all you off. I'm fine. It's a huge deal if your con's not ah, one. Oh yeah, it's a great spell. With that, spectacular. It's spectacular. chasing after her, you can see this strangely grandiose curtained hallway leading up to this large wrought wooden double door carved ahead of you. But you've passed by quite a few passages behind. Not our problem. It I'm going to drink We've another been told Drake Hart because that just wore off. Fair enough. We've mm. been informed of Treagle's general direction. We shall go to him post haste. Is that the plan? That's the plan? Not to uh, make sure nobody comes up behind us while fighting Trigal? I mean, it's up to you guys, but I think it's we a decision another, that we can... Another, I would like to further vlog, investigate right? what is around. we can certainly make next week. Mm -hmm. Yep. In what will definitely be, if not the climax of our adventures, the lead up to it. We have gotten through the, uh, the entry levels of the Red Pyramid, and here at the bottom is where the intrigue lives, the plans, the journals, the The intrigue. The characters who Monday. know things. The silken and underwear. Sway. That are labeled the with the days of the, the week. Operations. I know they're labeled with the days of the week. Next week, we return, everybody, next Saturday. The beginning of the end. What's close? Does he read anime? He's so close. Does he read anime? I'm just kidding. He, he reads climax only the finest literature from Chanja. <laughs> I'm convinced that was Thanks like what was under his pillow. Thanks for hanging out. Yes, thank you. Good night. Good night. Everyone, enjoy your weekends.